2023-2024 season. Let's get it. It's a great return, play y'all shakes back We going live and tune up to the max Real and kinks so fit in the fact Wrapping it up with glue yard in the chat Baltimore Dallas, we still on the map The others agree, we don't know about that We wrote the blueprints, don't know about that And Nico, we trust that we know about that MFF fail, that we rise The cooking up with curves, we stay in the lives I hope your appetite, we're winning in this party Grab for the seat for the after game party We never die, we live long and prosper You ain't imagining, we home like foxes Lightning in the sky like Dr. Frankenstein Luca and Kyrie, they create a mob the rules of the game are the same They on every platform, same name As WTM, have your question on screen Keep it courteous and keep it clean And remember to share and like Welcome Will and King to the mic Wherever, whenever you hear this pod Ladies and gentlemen, this is a glow yard YouTube, glow yard gang, MFFL Podcast listeners all over the globe Guys, welcome to the brand making new episode of We Talk Mavs Where we talk Dallas Mavericks from a fan's perspective, guys Another dub for the good guys. Y'all already know how we do it on this channel, man. We talk about all things Dallas Mavericks, man. It's your boys, Relic King. Listen, we got so much to get into about this game tonight, man. We definitely going to do that. But before we do, go ahead and uh, do us a favor. If you're brand new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man, and join us here. Uh, I see we got a few more subscribers, man, from after the playback uh, was posted here on YouTube. So we definitely appreciate that. And also, everybody hit that like button, man. Hit that like, man, for your team. Moving up to sixth place, guys. Go ahead and hit them likes up, man, for that sixth place. Move up for your your Dallas Mavericks today, man. So, yeah. Kenny, man, you ready to get to it, man? I am. All right, man. Let's do it, man. But before we do that, man, let's show some, some love to the sponsors of the channel. Before we continue, we want to give a special shout out to Fanatics for hooking the channel up with a personalized link for you guys and ladies to get all of your official NBA Dallas Mavericks merchandise and apparel. If you're interested in helping the channel at all, please scan the QR code on the screen or check out the link in the description. We appreciate all of the continued support and big thanks go out to Fanatics once more for hooking us up over here at We Talk Mavs. Yes, sir, guys. Like you heard the, the person on that uh, promo there say, Go ahead and do us a huge favor, man. If you into all Dallas Maverick things, if you're looking for Dallas Maverick merch, you always can click on the link down in the description box below or scan the QR code. We got a few of them around here, man. You got one right here on the screen, and of course, you have one on the promo. So there you go. King, you ready, man? Oh, yeah. All right, man. Let's just do it. Yeah. Technical difficulty. All right, here we go. Dallas wins one thirteen to ninety seven. Let's put it in the people's face. Uh, the Jazz shoot forty five percent from the field. Dallas shoots fifty percent from the field. Three point percentage. Jazz thirteen percent. Dallas thirty one percent. Free throws seventeen of nineteen for the Jazz for eighty nine percent. Dallas uh, an abysmal seventeen to twenty eight for sixty percent. But Dallas out rebounds the Jazz forty three to thirty eight eleven. Offensive rebounds to five for Dallas and 32 defensive rebounds to the Jazz, 33 defensive rebounds. All right, King, go ahead and let the folks at home know, man, what was your takeaway from the game today? Uh, another awesome game, uh, taking care of business. Um, they didn't let Laurie Marketing go off on them today. Shout out to a certain fella. I won't, I won't say his name. Mm. Um, but other than that, bro, like they, they handed the business. Uh, they're, they're, be, they're starting to... I guess stamping identity for themselves. Uh, they're a defensive team that, you know, can pound the paint and have uh, two of the best ISO players in league history uh, to take them home. Um, I'm loving it. Uh, three point percentage again wasn't the greatest. It's better than it has been recently. I feel like so that's a good thing. I still think it's going to go north as well. Um, I still think we'll have games where it's, we want to just destroy you guys with the shots. Um, but uh, Luca came back out, had a better game today. Um, did his thing, got over 30 again. I thought that was fine. Uh, Kyrie was 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 decent. I know he only got 16 points, but Kyrie was good, man. Kyrie cooked when he had to. He was good for us today. Um, Derek Jones Jr. was good to see him. He was doing that little bit of everything, bro. Like him and P.J. Washington just together like that. They're just clamping down guys in general. P.J. Washington, again, I talked about Laurie Marketing early. Uh, that guy just – he's just out there causing havoc, bro, on like every game, just every game you see him. 
Uh, Maxi, I felt like had a good game of day again. Uh, it's good to see Maxi out there shooting, taking shots, and making shots. So it's good to see him. Uh, Tim Hardaway they didn't get you anything, uh, but Jaden Hardy got some minutes, and Jaden Hardy looked good in his minutes today. Uh, Dwight Powell got a special guest appearance for a minute, so um, shout out to him. I know he got a rebound. I um, was playing a little point pile for a second. Kareem Abdul Powell. Other than that, bro, like I thought Jason Kidd called his timeouts in good situations, didn't like get things out of hand. Um, he's still not playing, uh, what's his name, Maxi again at the five, so that's good to see. Uh, when he's out there, he's playing with the big behind him. And um, things are looking well right now. I mean, we'll see how long it can go. As you see my, under my name, I'm saying finally Jason Kidd. Like, it seems like Jason Kidd may be taking a turn. Um, I saw, I heard in the post game as well that he talked about Jaden Hardy and just being patient that he's going to get his time. It's just guys in front of him now. And if I'm feeling the correct vibes from him, it may be a situation kind of like the white power in the playoffs with Tim Hardaway Jr. If he doesn't go on a streak, he may be a guy where you got to pull it instead of letting him uh, cost you a game where you got to throw in a Jaden Hardy at that point. So we'll see what happens with that. But um, he said that and he gave a shout out to Omax as well as far as he said the team now is totally different. Uh, we're athletic now and we are. We got Luke, a bunch of brothers around him. Shout out to Joe on playback and talks about that. Um, it's a good thing to see, bro. Like, we're just running. I think we had an NBA record for this season uh, for dunks in the game, uh, Dallas Maverick record in general. I mean, I've never seen a team do this type of stuff in my uh, time of being a fan of the Mavericks. So to be this athletic is incredible. And, um, yeah, bro, it's about just using the guys. I told you I told you from the trade. I thought you. I think you agree as well. Um, we had other guys ag agree, too. This is a team. This is a talented team we have now. This is the most talented Luka Doncic has ever had. And um, it's about Jason Kidd now, man, just pushing the right buttons. It isn't even that difficult. It's a, if he doesn't step in his own way, he should be perfectly fine. And uh, he's been doing good, uh, calling good timeouts, just situational basketball. A lot of timeout plays are still looking amazing. It was a few times out of a timeout that we scored out of that as well. Uh, so I'm giving kudos to Jason Kidd, kudos to Maxi Cleveland for playing a good game today. Um, and the handle business, bro, it's a good time to be a Mav. I'm still going one game at a time. We jumped up to the sixth seed. Things are still in line. But right now, I'm one game at a time. That's the way it should be. And um, it's good being a man right now, bro. It's, it, it, they're handling business. Yeah, man, I agree. Um, not a lot, bro. Like I said, it was a good win. Uh, it was a win that you're supposed to have, especially against uh, a team like Utah, man, right now. who's kind of the, the bottom of the league or, or bottom of the West in general. Uh, got nine more wins to go, y'all, till we get to our 50th win. We can stay top six and get 50 wins, man. I, I really, really believe that this MPP could be Lucas, man. Um, but we're gonna have to see, like you said, taking it one step. I'm still taking it one game at a time, y'all. I, I can't look ahead too far because we'll have uh, moments like this from Jason Kidd, and then he'll follow it up with a Indiana Pacer coaching job or, or Boston Celtic coaching job or Oklahoma City coaching job. So I take it one game at a time, but. Uh, a couple, few people I, got, I was going to uh, kind of bring up here, man, uh, that kind of stood out to me today. Like you said, man, uh, I'm not going to name no names, but somebody was saying that uh, P.J. Washington couldn't guard uh, Lloyd Marketing. So funny how that worked today. Uh, yeah. So shout out to P.J. Washington on that once again, uh, locking up another opponent. I don't know if you heard during the game, they talked about the P.J. Washington's uh, percentages when he's guarding uh, the primary guard, uh, offensive player. He's down to forty one percent. So, is it locked down? Well, I, somebody told us that he went locked down, and he's a he's a bad defender and all that good stuff. So he couldn't lock up Lloyd Marketing, but he locked up everybody else. Funny how that works. Shout out to that. Shout out to Sports Logically, uh, Tucker. Uh huh. Yeah. Shout out to him too. Shout out to him as well. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people who we need to shout out today. But anyway, I, I, I digress. Uh, shout out to Derrick Jones Jr. Like you said, that starting line of defense starting to get really, 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 really good. Uh, it looks like the, the I, I'm trying not to jump ahead, like I said, man, but it's looking like they are starting to kind of gel at the right time. Yep, this, they're, they're, they're looking good the at the right time. Team is gelling, and yet I'm still nervous because I feel like he is going to put some kind of hold to that, man. Like today, the rotation, because he wouldn't, I don't think he would have had Maxi in there if Gafford didn't get hurt. Uh, he kind of put him in there when Gaffer got hurt. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I, yeah. Yeah. Other than that, like, you know, I think he did pretty good in the rotations. Uh, Tim, Tim didn't play in the fourth quarter, right? No. Okay. I, I, I figured that. Um, they yeah, they went to Hardy. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to remember. I didn't want to, you know, uh, say something I was wrong on, but I couldn't remember. I thought maybe he was in there early, early in the, in the uh, fourth, but he wasn't because Luca wasn't even in the uh, fourth yet. 
Yeah, they had think- Kyrie and them in at the four in the uh, beginning of the fourth. Um, but yeah, that that rotation, man. I think he's starting to kind of tighten it up a little bit too, keeping it to a certain um, uh, you know, rotation or whatever. Um, like you said, Kyrie didn't like just blow us away today, but he he hit certain he uh, helped control the pace of the game. Uh, had some nice assists today too. He had seven, so that's he's pretty good on that. Um. I'm gonna save him for last, but Luca, man, you are we are kind of figured Luca wasn't gonna <laughs> he wasn't gonna be down for long. We already know how Luca is, man. Luca did his thing today. Um he had 34 points. I, I, I was hoping he was gonna get another triple double, man. Uh that'd be nice if he can get 20 triple doubles before the season's over with. He's at uh 18 right now. But yeah. Uh like you said, Kleber did pretty good today. They had no issues with Kleber. Um, Jaden Hardy, like you said, man, Jaden Hardy was doing some of the things we talked about before that he can do if you give him opportunities with setting guys up or was able to do a lot of catch and shooting or creating his own shot to dribble, man, which we've seen that happen so many times. It, it adds another dimension to the team. Yep. Not just Luke and Kyrie. You got another guy who can do that too, man. He just gets the opportunity. We talk about that all the time. Um, like I said, Tim Hardaway, I, he didn't play well today. Didn't have any points, of course. Uh, he wasn't a, he wasn't an issue on defense. He didn't stick out. Yeah, he didn't stick out. Like usually, so sometimes when when Tim don't hit his shots, he stick out like a sore thumb. But he didn't hit his shots, but he didn't stick out today, man. So I had no negatives on uh, Tim Hardaway. His defense, he, he did pretty solid on defense. I seen him moving them moving them puppies, as uh, Kenya Martin would say. Um, but yeah, I got a big ups to, to Daniel Gaffer, man. Absolutely. Um, so listen, lively too. Yeah, I'm sorry, and lively. Yeah, so. With with the addition, this, this goes back to what we said before, man. We talked about getting another guy beside Lively, right? Uh, uh, getting a guy beside Lively, Lively, and getting a guy that can back up Lively, right? We talked about that when we got him. Uh, we talked about the fact that 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 also helps Lively out to be a better player. And I feel like ever since that trade, Lively has been better because um, having a guy like a, a defensive uh, anchor, like a like a PJ Washington, you know, what I'm saying next to him. With PJ Washington's game, you know his defensive uh, intensity that also helps out uh, Derrick Jones Jr. to be a little bit more free, uh, kind of free safety out there a little bit, man. Uh, also guarding on the perimeter, man, keeping a long body pause on the on the perimeter guys. Um, like I said, Daniel Gaff has been a godsend, bro. I I don't know how many times we've been screaming for a center. I was screaming for a center before I started this channel. I was just, I was, we been needing a center, bro. We need a center. I don't know why that was so hard to understand. For an owner who wants to copy the 2011 team so bad, he just never gave us a center, right? So uh, we finally got him. We see what the, what that's finally transitioning to, man. We see how it's affecting the team. You heard me say a million times, the guys that you want, like the Derrick Jones Juniors and guys like that, would play better defense if you had a guy behind them. And now you got two. We literally got two starters on the team right now, man. We might have the best, not might, we no. have the best center duo in the league, bro. Yes. And because we had those two guys, it's funny we go up against these teams that were so called, you know, two, big. Uh, yeah, big. Mm-hmm. They just don't seem as big. Like we played Denver. All oh, they got is Jokic. Uh, we played uh, Oklahoma City. All they had was Chet. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just, they don't seem as big as they, they once did, man, before. So, are we the biggest uh, team in the league outside of Minnesota? Might be, bro. Because remember, Derrick Jones is like six seven. Yeah. So, I mean, like I said, I shout out to Nico, man. Shout out to Nico. Um, like I said, we 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 look we look pretty good right now. Like you just said, I hope Jason Kidd don't mess this up, man. You got an opportunity to to really build on this. We got a few more days until we play. Uh, the the big the big test coming up here on uh, Tuesday, so we got a few days of rest. Guys were banged up. Uh, Gaffer was banged up, as you saw. Uh, I, I still don't understand how he got banged up. I know he showed it like twenty five times from eighty five different angles. I just didn't know how he got banged up. But I think Walker Kessler like banged into his leg. Oh, okay, tried to go into position and hit him on the side of his leg and like gave him like probably a cramp or something on the side. Oh, okay. That's probably what it was. Yeah, I was like, I didn't, I didn't, still didn't know why. Okay, it looked like they hit him on his right leg, but he grabbed his left leg. Like he bumped me, sorry, he bumped him into his right side, but he grabbed his left leg. I was confused on why was it, what, what happened. Yeah, I think he bumped straight into his left leg when he was trying to like box up. But, uh, but yeah, um, I mean, that's pretty much all I got, bro. Uh, not too much to harp on today, man. Like I said, six seed, here we are. 
Uh, I think. Uh, well, last time I checked, Phoenix was they started winning then because Atlanta had a lead on them. Yeah. But uh, then they lost it. Shout out to Demond. <laughs> uh, I, I just asked him to do one thing for us. Can I just do one thing for us? Uh, let me just look real quick. I know this ain't professional. Is Phoenix still behind us? Uh, I, I believe so. We got a tiebreaker, so that would yeah, be a yes. So uh, I'm not worried about. It. Uh, ooh, okay. Atlanta only down by one. 79 to 80. It's fourth quarter. Right, right, no, right. Third, no, third quarter. I'm sorry. We already know how we already know how Phoenix performs in the, in the fourth quarter. If uh, somehow, out, out the tray. yeah. If somehow, the, um, if somehow the Mavericks can. I know it's one game at a time, but if somehow the Mavericks can sweep the Kings. I think we guarantee the, the six seed at least. Yeah, I believe so too. If we beat both games, we win both games, and I think I don't think we fall beneath the six seed. Because yeah, we need add two additional L's to Sacramento's record as well. Okay, update this yet. I'm looking at the score. The score I have to update the uh the standings and stuff yet. But, but yeah, prayers up to BI, man. But that's why you gotta play all the games. I, I just I know I sound like a broken record when I say it, bro, but you just gotta win as many games as you can. You never know what's gonna happen. That's why even when you seen Joel and B at the beginning of the season, you never know what's going to happen these guys got to play all 82 or whatever games and that's a major blow <clears throat> yeah um shout, shout out to richard man, man. Uh, he said it before <coughs> he said the, the only thing holding uh oklahoma i mean uh i said oklahoma the only thing hoping holding new orleans back man is their is their health like if they start getting healthy man then they'll, they'll be a threat but once they lose that health especially one of their big three then i mean anything can happen yeah. right I'm at a point now with our health. Shout out to uh, Josh Green. Hopefully, he can get back and help uh, join the team and uh, help put us over the hump. But with our health right now, bro, I'm at a point where if we, I don't know, we can't lose to any team outside of Denver in the West. That's how I feel. Like, I, I know that's putting a lot of pressure on Jason Kidd, but right now, that's how I feel, bro. Like, I don't, uh, Jason Kidd got to beat every team that's hey, not. That's what Denver. you signed up for, bro. Yeah, like every team that's not Denver, if Denver, I mean, I mean, we got a chance against Denver. We got a puncher's chance, absolutely. I think we got a chance to beat Denver. I think we can beat Denver, but there's not a lot of teams in the NBA right now I'm looking at, and I'm like, I really think they can beat the Mavs in a seven-game series. Only teams I really think on paper where I'm like, all right, you're going to give them the respect, whatever, it would be the uh, the Nuggets and the Celtics, bro. That's it. Hmm. Like, and that's if the Celtics can get there, and you know how they work in the playoffs sometimes, so. This could be a year, bro. This could be out of nowhere that that beginner, that beginning of, of it all, bro. Like it's there's a path. Like there really is. And I really think the Mavs can beat the hell out of it, most of these teams. Like I mean, beat the hell out of them right now. That's how I feel. There's a lot of series where I see not going seven. I just want to get into that six seed. Give us an extra week of rest, man. Yeah, well, that'd be incredible. Rested Luca, Kyrie, everybody else healthy. Like I told you, the defense is on point right now. The defense is on. I hope they start giving credit to the defense. So, if the three you heard they shot, said about our uh, defensive rating over the last seven games? Number one? 109. So, it's number one in the league again? Probably and so. Over the, top, the past seven I, games, yeah. I didn't, I didn't hear what they said about the what, what uh, where we at or whatever. They just said the defense rating is 109 over the last seven games. And that's why I feel like – and that's why I feel like something special might be happening. You know when you look at, like, patterns of championship teams – and what they good at or whatever. Usually when you got a team that can like destroy the paint and rebound and play good defense, and you're telling me you adding Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving to that formula, that's a that's a championship. That's what I'm like. That's that's a championship. Bruh. I like the I like when they they move without the ball too, man. There'll be a lot of backdoor cuts within the half court offense. Bro, we big boy and be people. Like that's yeah. a, that, I've oh, never seen we, we, we doing what? big boy in people. I've never seen the Mavericks play like this. Like oh, this you're is you saying we saying we getting big boy. What you mean? No, nah, I mean we are big boy in people. Like we making teams look know, small. It just ain't making I, ain't, ain't right ain't add oh, up right now. That's Dallas why the and big shot, boy in the same sentence. That's why sense. the three, that's why we we keep waiting for the three point shot to return because we scared. We've never seen this before. We've never yeah, they, seen this before. And they brought that up during the game too. It's I'm like three point I, shot. I, that's what, and it's like the three point shot don't doesn't have to be there if you are destroying at those aspects of the game. A shout out to um, I think it was Micah that said on the playback. You got teams just recently like the LA Lakers and like the uh, Milwaukee Bucks. 
that just won a championship that weren't the highest three point percentage teams. They but they destroyed as far as rebounding, defense, and in the paint. Like, but if you add that to not even like you can't brick wall a Luca and Kyrie. So you add that formula to a Luca and Kyrie. That's what I'm saying. It's about kid. That whole little run where we look horrible on defense and all hurt us as far as our defensive ranking or rating or whatever. But if we really got this team now since the trade deadline, it's like a damn near one of the best defensive teams in the NBA. If we're now one of the best rebounding teams in the NBA, if we're now one of the best at scoring in the paint now, we got Luka and Kyrie, bro. Like, I really think. And one last thing, shout out to uh, Nikola Jokic. He definitely did say he felt small out there playing against the Mavericks. Listen yep. to stuff like that. So when you hear stuff like that, that's all I'm saying, bro. Like, we got a chance. It's just we got to get it done, man. We got to keep winning, get it right. And Jason Kidd got to not put us in situations to lose, man. You stay healthy, man. That's the key. Yeah, stay healthy, too. Yep. Amen. Uh-huh. Knock on wood. Absolutely. All right, man. You got anything else you want to add, man? Nah, that's it. Good win, man. Good win. Six seed. Like fourth seed is fourth seed. We got to see if the Clippers are really still falling. But I really think we can get the fifth seed, though. I can't believe it. Uh, the Pelicans were half a game behind the Clippers. Yep. Before they lost tonight. Now it's a full game. But yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. We, we, were only, we were only 2.5 away from the Clippers. We only yeah, two and a half away from the Clippers. That's it, bro. Like the Clippers lose two in a row. We, we there. So That's we just got to keep winning. And the Pelicans, like I said, we now, what, one and a half behind the Pelicans now. Mm-hmm. It ain't. And the Pelicans just lost B.I. Like I said, prayers up to B.I. and all that. But, like, none of their games become are super easy anymore, right? You feel what I'm saying? Like, that just changes the way games go now. Like, the games you thought were easier, like, it's not the same thing. And they played more. They're playing more of a team basketball now, not one guy dominating. So, that's a huge blow, bro. Like I said, that's a huge blow, but one game at a time, bro. But I'm telling you, it's, it's still there. And uh, you said six seed. I don't know if they'll give it to him to six seed. I still feel like they'll play around with him. I want to get to a guaranteed first round, like a, a a home. I would love somehow to get to the fourth seed. Like fifth seed, you got to – I think I think fifth seed is – I think fifth they might – yeah, I think they might give it to him to fifth. I, you still – four. I still want to get the, I still want to get the 52 with either yeah, five, fifth. four, five, or six. Four, five, six. He got a conversation in all of them now. Now to be in the sixth seed, it's a conversation. He get the 50 wins no matter what. Like, And he's already a finalist. He's a top three now in the MVP top race. Three. Yeah. So he's a finalist. So fifth seed might get you. Like I say fifth seed might get you. The, the MVP it might get you second place. And Joker got to be number one. Shea can't be number one in the West. That's the one thing I think. Shea can't. And OKC schedule is harder than Denver's. So hopefully Shea isn't number one because that's the one thing that can mess all this up. But if Joker is number one, I don't think the Nuggets are going to get the 60 wins this year. So if they don't get the 60 wins this year, 50, you feel me? Like if you get 50 wins, you're close enough to the first seed or whatever like that. It's not like a major drop off or whatever. It ain't like back in 2022 when the Suns was like won 60 some games. Yeah, everybody else, was like, I think they were eight away from everybody else or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like eight or nine away or something yeah. like that. Yeah. But if you get to the if you get to the fourth seed, if he gets a home playoff series somehow, some way, and has 50 wins, and like I said, the Nuggets don't get 60 and they number one, it's Lucas, bro. It, I don't think there's a conversation to be had that it wouldn't be Lucas. You were home. You were home team. But we do know for a fact Lucas gonna win. Lou's gonna be all all NBA first team, right? I do believe that he's gonna get his his trophy for the scoring title. Um, who gets clutch player of, of the year this year? Well, we the Luke. number one clutch team. It it's gotta be Luke. So they, they can't give it to Kyrie. I was saying, they what they did with Fox last year. Yeah, and they can't give it to Kyrie. Yeah, I think he missed too many games. Yeah, so that so Luca Luca gonna get that tip. So Luca can get the MVP and the clutch player. MVP clutch and all uh, all NBA first team. That's oh, true. and scoring title. And scoring title, yep. Yeah, you can that's get all that going here. That's why, I, that's, and that's the reason why I get I get so mad at wasting games. Yep. Because the only reason that he's not going to get all that, or that it's it's not a guarantee, is because of the, the win loss record. That's it. I agree. All right, man. Let's get to the next part. <laughs> Game ball. We give a game ball too, man. I gotta get used to these sound effects, but um, I'm gonna give the game ball to uh, 
Mr. Daniel Gafford, the landlord himself. Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going I'm going to switch it up on you, man. You're going to be surprised I'm about to give it to. Awesome. I knew get the Bro, you only had like six points, man. What you mean? Yeah, uh, six points. What he did to Lori Markin today, their number one option. Don't you let don't you let Johnny B see that because Johnny B definitely was in the comments last show mm-hmm. saying, I hope PJ lock up Laurie Mark. So like I said, every game you're gonna come in here and say, I hope he lock up the next guy. I'm like, damn, why he gotta lock up everybody, Johnny B, before you give him love, man. It's gonna be 10 years later. I hope he lock up uh you have a bad game, and it's like, man, you see it. See, I tell you a bad defender. <laughs> bad defender, yep, that's what's gonna happen. They ain't blocking everybody up for the last 10 years. What are you talking I, about? I don't know how much more Johnny that B. That one he going to get beat on. Oh, I told you. <laughs> like, I don't know how much more Johnny B got to see, bro. To just be like, bro, oh, I don't have, I don't need to see anymore. I told you. I, you build around that dude. He's 25. Hey, uh, he need to worry about this guy. This is last year. You said what? Now you hear you. I'm sorry. His name was in the way. You said what? I said this is last year, bro. Unless he have a ma- a masterful playoffs, and this probably still is last year. I think it is. It's I, like, I told you. I already told you. Yeah, it's I think it's last year. Yeah, it's time. But yeah, man, you ready to get to the glow yard, man? Yes, sir. You got you got the music for that one too. <laughs> yes, sir, guys. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. This is the part of the show, man, that you is your show now. Questions and comments. Listen, if you got any questions or any comments addressing us, guys, hit us with the WTM in front of your question or your comment. Uh, we ask that you to be respectful in the comment section. We usually take the super chats first. And uh, yeah, can you got a few of them in here, man? We got Coy with the 499 dough. No, he's a uh, Glow Yard member. He said, Are we the new Lob City? I'm okay with that. Got to keep rolling. Much love, guys. Appreciate you, Corey. Appreciate you. Yeah, man. Um, what was it? 18 dunks today? 18. In one game? Yeah. 18, 19. What is it? Uh, I was, like I said, Luke almost had him one, too, man. Yeah. That, that, man, that lob to Kyrie was nasty, man. Yeah, it was, bro. I said right after that, that was wild because I told uh, Dev, Luke is going to ask for one, too, now. And he was like, no, you're not. No, you're not. No way. And right after that, he asked for one. <clears throat> I was saying this ain't gonna happen, and they turn around and happen <laughs> every time. Uh, lies with the twenty dollar uh Canada dollars. He says, "Here's to you guys to celebrate this great win and nearly improved Dallas Maverick team with TAJ limited minutes. Finally, thank you for doing your job, Jason Kidd." He said, "What do you think about the coaching for the past two weeks so far? He's, he's been okay. He's been okay since he got since that game we questioned if he got you out. Same yeah." Like I think the only one it really the only one he had that was bad was probably that that Oklahoma City one. Yeah. When he decided to play uh Maxi for for 85 quarters. Yep. So that's pretty much it. Hey, my turn. Yeah. All right. Noah's a glow yard member. He says, uh, from my dorm room, I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this team. The Kings and Pels both lost as well, so that helps us as well. Yes. Uh Gina Kim's a glow yard member. She says, Hey fellas, what up? Up. How about the Mavs? We the six seed. This is what movies are made of. Facts. She says game ball to Luca Live uh, Gaff Washington. Call us Dallas Love City from now on. Honorable mention my baby uh, Hardy, who immediately impacted the game. Hardy IQ greater than and greater than again. Tim's uh, IQ. Uh, we gotta explore the Gaff slash Hardy duo more. Facts. Uh, Rich is a glow yard member. He says uh, great win. A big stretch of games coming up, but hope is uh, building. This is right to hit right on time to hit your st- uh, stride. Yes, Richard. Uh, Gina Kim says, "This is our new identity. This is who we should be from now on." I still think our threes will fall at some point, but I don't think we should keep going to it when we can just cook in the paint. Facts, Gina Kim. I'm trying to get a uh, rep to say he loves that. Oh, whatever. whatever. No, nah, saying that uh, you just wanted to be a paint team and all that, that you're not worried about the threes no more. I said, I'm trying to get you to, to be that way. Uh, My bad. I'm over looking at the score nah, change for the, yes. for the Suns and the Hawks. They only down by five. That's, that might be enough. Uh, Noah says, when Luca threw that love to Kyrie, I know this team is different. The energy of this team is really good, and I like kid playing Maxie in the fourth with Gafford at least. 
Kyrie said he ain't no screws in his knee anymore, bro. You saw. Thomas is a glow yard member. He says uh, the hashtag free hardy movement is having its moment. Best to be ready for me to come on in the morning and shout from the rooftops that we are finally making sense. Dude is ready. Timmy can't hold him off. Fags, Thomas. Nancy says, hey, fellas. What up, Nancy? Hey, Nancy. A little rough shooting for Kai tonight, but he still contributed. Uh, he's been huge for us the last two games, but it was nice to see him and Luca having fun out there with the win. Yes. Uh, Gina Kim also says, I don't know what was better, the Kai dunk or the Lucas Steele pass to Kai, who loves it up DJJ sequence. A beautiful basketball from the Mavs. Can't wait to get Kai love to Luca one day. Yes. Uh, she also says, which Kai dunk was better in y'all opinion, the Nets one or the one from tonight or the one from the first Jazz game where, he, where we blew them out? I'll pick the one from tonight. He got up there easily. I like the one from the Nets. Uh, I'll, I'll probably say tonight. Uh, Gina Kim said, this team is so much fun to watch. Rough start because we were trying to shoot threes but still play great D. And we're able to get our offense going. I was told the Mavs can't play D, especially Luka. Facts. We were told a lot of things, Gina. Nancy says, I don't want to hear no, um, I guess, Mavs fans giving PJ a hard time. I'm so tired of everybody complaining about his shooting, especially when he's been locked down on D against some of the best uh, players on the other team. Facts, Nancy. What are we next talking about? Hmm. Noah says the offense that the Mavs are playing now, I like it better than jacking up threes. We got two centers, use them. We got so many love threats, even Kyrie, Luka, Kai, and Hardy can throw loves. Yep. Not only that, get in that little restricted area, dip it, uh, dump it down to them right there, they can finish around the rim. Yep. Bobby got that little both shoulder hook shot. Average nasty around the rim. They both out here Euro stepping to get to the rim and all kind of stuff. Never had that night. Never. Uh, Gina Kim said, do y'all think Lawson will get any minutes in the playoffs or at all this regular season? I feel like he'll be important, too, and I think we're just waiting to unleash Max. Oh, Max, he can be our, our Brown. Uh, I don't think so. I think yeah, he'll get minutes if we, like, blow somebody out or if Andrew like, or something like, like that happen. Like, like tonight. Yep. Yeah. We're going to cut down our rotation in the playoffs, Gina Kim. You don't increase it. Right. Uh, Thomas says, six seed gentlemen, I don't see a team behind us I'm worried about. And honestly, Denver about the only one ahead of us on respect alone. That midseason trade was our Tyson Chandler trade. No hat. Hey, Thomas, man. 2022 vibes all over again. Tough, starting to feel them. Uh, Div, he's a Glow Yard member. He says, is Luca winning MVP? Imagine if we went out, that would be something else and some kind of run. Hey, Div. We already told you 50 wins and then stop playing. Try to get close to that 450 seed. Uh, he also says Hardy not playing over THJ is blasphemy. No reason to have THJ play at all anymore except for garbage minutes. Hmm. Um, we were told that THJ was better than Hardy. We were told that sometimes he could be a number one option. Mm, gotcha. Just like I was told Maxi was the Messiah. Uh, Gina Kim said, I want to see more Hardy minutes from now on. Hardy is just so smart and knows where his spots are. He had a rough start in the beginning of the season, but his minutes were limited. He still uh, stays ready. Yes, he does. Uh, Gina Kim says they got to start the Luka MVP discussion. They want to hate so much, but the Mavs been through a lot. Injuries, kid, the roster. Uh, Luka still tried to drag his team to a win, and now we are after all that. Yeah, I told you, if the Nuggets don't get to 60 and Luka gets to 50, what is the conversation we have, bro? Nancy says, uh, was not at all surprised to see Luca being Luca tonight. So glad we're going to have uh, three days off so he can get some rest. Uh, so to see Hardy in there getting some time and no Maxi in the closing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, PJ hurt his ankle too. So that could probably help him too. Yeah. He looked like he'd be fine though. Like he just like nicked it. Uh, Gina Kim said, I'm still not uh, hopping on the kid, the kid train, but it's not hashtag. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, quotes fire kid anymore. I'm kind of in the middle. I'll give him his flowers. I still think he has to stop being stubborn at times, but he's better. I told you, 20. I get 20 games. 20 games. We'll see at the end of the season. Yeah, I'll wait till the end of the season before I make yep. my decision. I mean, I basically need to see the play. If he, if he, if he start winning, then we, we ain't got no choice. Yeah. Like, he got to, if he wins, then you got to give him his, his contract. It is what it yeah, is. You you say that. That's what you're supposed to do, win. 
Yep. Uh, Luke says Dallas is now Love City. Game ball to Mr. Daniel Gafford. Special shout out to Hardy who played very well. Facts. Uh, Thomas says I know it's a polarizing subject, but Maxi on D at the four with a big is a great defensive sub. Uh, with PJ, I also have a bit of confidence. A small ball five only if PJ is at the four, he makes a difference. PJ is a beast. A beast, bro. Yo, like I mean, he's a beast, bro. <laughs> Gina can and I really believe he's gonna work on them threes in the offseason, bro. I really think he's gonna be awesome next year. I really I, I do. And hey, bro, I didn't even know Daniel Gafford been in the league only five years. Yeah. I was like, what the bro, we got bro. a young team, bro. This might be the beginning of a dynasty Nico just did. That's why do you worry about 2027, 2029 pick swaps and all that if you start a, if you get a, a, a good team? When when is it? Oh, exactly. Uh Gina Kim said hitting two threes was oh Maxi hitting two threes was shocking. Took three years, but hopefully he keeps it up. Hit at least one a game. Stop being scared of the ball. And now Timmy's acting like he's scared to shoot too. I think Timmy is – I think he is scared, though. I think he's feeling like people said he should stop shooting and all. So he's trying to be involved other ways. But I'm like, damn, Timmy, the one piece of the game that we wish you were good at right now, which you should be, is the shooting and all. And we're like, you're not even trying to shoot no more. So I understand his defense and all. And it, he, he hasn't been as bad. I'm not going to lie to you. The other aspects of his game have not been as bad as they normally are but it's like i'm the role that we needed him for is to be like that third score sometimes number two number one and it's like he's giving you zeros at times now mm -hmm. i've never seen him on this bit of a stretch offensively but is this what we get asking him to do other stuff does his offense take this big of a dip when he does other things it should be no big issue here because remember uh folks be pressuring hardy and say he got to do it so why can't tim do it oh you're right you forgot about frank uh, Gina Kim said, I think we should send Tim to the G League. Maybe that'll help his shot come back. Imagine the Tim and uh, Penson duo. They can cook whoever they want, and it'll build Tim's confidence again. Hmm. What up, DV? He's a hey, what, 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 uh, what, what was going on with the whole G League Ignite thing? They saying they, they were getting rid of it or something. They say Waddle? I guess it's just not good. So I, I don't know. I, is, is it because of the young players? Because that's the team all the young players go to, right? All the players that come out of yeah, come out of they don't want to go to college or whatever, so not high school. I, yeah. I don't know. I just saw they said they were going to get rid of it or something. Uh, DV says what's, he's a glow yard member. He says, "What's good, fellas? What up, DV? What uh, up? Great win, loving Dallas, love city or Dallas city. I like that. I love." Jay with the five dollar dono said, "What's up, fellas? Call me crazy, but I think the Mass could beat Denver in a seven game series." I believe Lively and Gafford can neutralize Jokic. I mean, we saw it, right? Mm. And we, we were beating them handily until, uh, in, the, in the words of King, uh, kid got cute. Yep. Kid got cute. Uh, Steven says, the white gets you one rebound a minute. He's cooking. I told you, Steven. Kareem Abdul Powell in the house. Damn, he really did get you one he rebound. He did, bro. I saw him get the rebound game. and push it up the court, bro. He got you the rebound. That's better than – I mean, he would get 36 rebounds in 36 minutes, right? Uh, according to the numbers, yeah. Her 36. That's how the numbers work. Gina Kim says, kid acknowledged uh, Hardy should be getting more minutes, but said there's a couple of guys in front. Like who? Ask him because that's the only guy who should be in front of him. THJ is no is a big no. That's why I said I think he's going to – he's waiting. He's just letting Timmy be the, the senior citizen until the playoffs, I'm hoping. And then he's going to just let Hardy show off. That's going to be Hardy's party for real, I think. I'm hoping. I'm crossing my fingers, but that'd be awesome. That would be an awesome sight, though, if we get Hardy parties in the playoffs where, like, the league start recognizing Jaden Hardy at that point because that's on TV all the time. So, mm -hmm. uh, DV said, Hardy gave us a burst of energy, which was very much needed. We looking real scary. Finally out of the play-in again. Yeah, I want to stay out that play-in. I want that week off. Uh, DV says, we just got to keep winning games. We got to win nine for 50. Pals lost Ingram's uh, – Clip is struggling. There's a light at the end of the tunnel for that four or five seed. Facts, TV. Matter of fact, why are you doing it? All right, Gina Kim says, now we just need to take care of business. Some fans want Luca to rest for the next Jazz game, but we have three days off. He'll have plenty of rest. If our stars are healthy, play them, can't risk it. Hell no. Get three days off. I don't know. Luca can <laughs> play the next game. I don't know. This dude is 25 years old. I got to chill sometimes. Uh, Thomas says, when DJJ I caught the Kyrie love. I was genuinely concerned for injury, so I bench players. Then when Kyrie hit the Luca love, I swore I saw Jesus come down and hit the gritty. Hashtag love city. Hashtag fly. Yeah, Kyrie on one right now. 
Nancy says, I'm not at all surprised to see Luca being Luca. So glad he's going to have three days off to rest up. Excited to see Hardy get some playing time. Also not seeing the small ball five in the closing. Yes. So, yeah, here's a stand is right here. Told you. Uh, the the club is better stay hot. Club is start struggling again. I'm telling you. That four games is it's still over 10 games left. If it was like under 10 games, I'd be like, no, nah, there's no way. It's still over 10 and they playing 500 basketball. So mm-hmm. if you keep winning and they keep losing, you know, one out of one out of two. It is what it is. The Pelicans, like I said, got two above us in the uh, L's. So we got to win two more than they lose. I mean, two more than they win. Right. Mm-hmm. And actually, they have to win. They play one more extra game than we do. That they're going to have to play because they only have one in a win uh, column ahead of us. And right now, our division record, I believe we have one less out in them, right? Yep. Yep. So if it came down to since we tied as far as uh, our head to head, it'll go down to divisional records and we'd be ahead of them in division. So we get the seed over them. So yeah, there is there. This season is not over, bro. This the benefit of the West being so close. I wish we would have pulled it away early in the season and all, but with it still being so close, this has been all year basically been yelling. We still can do it, bro. We still mm. right there. That's wild to think we only within we still within four games of the Clippers, bro. Right there within two of the the, the freaking uh, Pelicans. One and a half, three, three games of the Clippers. Yeah, but I'm count, I'm just counting the L's. Oh, oh, okay. oh yeah, 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 yeah. You can't make up L's. Yeah. So we two mm-hmm. L's away from the uh, Pelicans, but like the Pelicans might be in trouble now. We don't know. We'll see. Because they haven't been playing one guy basketball. They were playing team basketball in the league's Brandon Ingram. That's a, like I said, a big. Oof, we'll see. Uh, Gina Kim, I do, I do think we can get the five, though. I do think we get the five. But I'm one game at a time. But I think we're getting five, though, at least. Four might be difficult. We got a, the Clippers. Are we going to play the Clippers again in the first round, bro? Mm. You're getting scared. I don't want to play. I want to play uh, OKC or Minnesota. I want to see the Clippers, bro. I ain't scared. I want to see the Clippers. Let's do it. Let's finish the Clippers, bro. If we beat them this year, you think we finish them? Yeah. So you saying another team that we that the Mavericks finish? Yep. Let's see him first round. Let's do it. Gina Kim says even Legler uh, believes in us. He mentioned how off how other teams like the Clippers, Suns, and others had flaws. Add Pelicans to that. Only OKC has been consistent, but they've been healthy, so it makes sense. Yeah, I'm picking the Mavericks. Over. I can see the Mavericks beating uh, OKC in less than seven as well. Yep. I said beat him like five. That's why I won the first round. Uh, Gina Kim said, I hope the stands can stop having a war and come together. Luke Kai is cooking. Even Kai mentioned how good their chemistry looks. We need both healthy healthy to keep this up. Our Superman and Batman. Facts, Gina Kim. Yeah, both facts. Like but, that's said. but like TGK said, though, we about to find out who really is MFFL. Hmm. About to be that time of the season. I'm about to say facts, but we, we know that's not going to happen. Uh, Nancy says, I feel like something definitely has shifted a bit and changed in Jason Kidd when the noise got really loud about firing him. Just the way he's dealing with the team in his post-game interviews. Uh, second piece. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Uh, he's no longer being sarcastic with the reporters or trying to race out of his seat before they're finished asking questions. Uh, since the new owner's been showing up at the games, also your thoughts. I agree, Ar- as I said, Nancy. He was put in the hot seat. Somebody talked to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, TGK is a glow yard member he's also the host of the unofficial official Mavis pregame show uh, he was he did an in real uh, life show today down at the arena uh, he says I just have to say that I was very fortunate to attend today's game that was literally one of the best games experience I've ever had 18 dunks excuse me I can get used to this hey TGK awesome man yeah that might have been better than the OKC game uh, and I wasn't even there Nah, bro, it was both of them awesome in different ways. Uh, Gina Kim says, random question, but what superhero should Gaff be and PJ be? I thought about Bane uh, for Gaff, but he's a villain. I like Lively as Hulk. Uh, he's smart because he can learn quick and has great passes. Shoot, he's sure. in DC. Sure, we'll go with that. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I, guess, uh, I don't know. We're here all night trying to guess. Got my guy PJ being the... Uh, being uh the freaking green lantern 
for the ones that really know. Uh, Johnny B says, uh, he's a Glowyard member as well. He says, we won again, so I won't speak on who was building a castle tonight because it was a couple people. Hashtag Mavs roll, hashtag Glowyard, what up? Yeah, I'll be noticing you never want to bring up names when somebody else is also clumped, uh, clumped into that yeah. that list. I just want to know, Johnny B, you asked somebody to do something yesterday or two days ago, and they did it. You going to bring that up? That's all I want to know. Uh, Thomas says, this is the most athletic team, Mavs team, I've ever seen. This is why DSJ was my favorite. We finally drafted a brother that could jump slash dunk. Then Rick was like, sorry, no, you're too flashy. We back. Facts, Thomas. Facts. <laughs> uh, Gina Kim said, green is quick. Silver was good, but he died, so maybe flash. Uh, he's oh. quick and athletic. I don't know which one for PJ, though. A fan told me to ask you, bro, which hero you would pick for them. Y'all got to decide which, which universe y'all with. Yeah, you all over the play with a genie. DC or Marv, what we doing? Uh, no. Uh, I, I'll probably do. I'm, I'm gonna switch it up on you, Gina. He's from about you. I don't even know. I, I'll probably go variant comments. I'll probably go Ninjak for uh for Green. I was gonna go with the Flash, but uh, I like that. Uh, Pas Pasquale says he's a glow y'all member as well. He said, "What up, y'all? What up? What up?" He said, nobody can say they have ever seen a front court rotation like this ever for the Dallas Mavericks. I think not a lot of teams ever have seen a front court, just in general. Actually, Press Quality, back in that, no, I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> we know we've never had this before in our, in our history, man. Never. And I said, closest probably Brandon Hayward and uh, Tyson Chandler is probably the closest. Oh, nice one, Richard. He says, if Dallas is the new love city, hit the like button, please. Please. Uh. I'm like, well, who, who said that? Dallop? Yep, Dallop. Might get that on a shirt. Uh, Gina Kim says, this has got to be the deepest team in Luka Mavs era. All we need to do is stay healthy and be consistent. No team should want us. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Tim Legley. He said that. Yeah, I don't think no team will want us to this. Uh, Pasquale also says, the Mavs have an opportunity to exploit teams at the rim and open up the three-point game. Facts. Uh, Tone is glow yard member. He says, let's get them likes up. Great win. We actually look good. Everybody stepping up when needed. We are actually deep. Good game, Cleaver. LOL. Uh, Black Hippie says, Kings messed up my parlay today, but them losing the Pelicans losing also plus a Mavs win. It was a good day, fellas. One game at a time. Facts. Uh, Gina Kim said, uh, Kid said, PJ stepped on someone's foot at the end of the game and he will have an injury update on him tomorrow. I hope he's good. I'm glad we have three days off. Let him rest after locking up Larry. Yeah, I think he should be fine for the next Utah game, y'all. I don't think it was that serious. It didn't look like it. Uh, Thomas says, Grayson Allen swapped THJ straight up in the offseason. THJ swapped for a box of Grayson Allen jersey straight up. Be humble, Timmy. Sit down. <laughs> Hashtag free hardy. Hey, man. Hey, shout out to, uh, shout out to Larry, man. Oh, hold up, hold up. You might have clip this, y'all. This four. Wait, hold on. No, he talking about another, he, he talking about another trade. It can't be the trade we talking nah, about. Nah, he not. That was Thomas. That's another trade. trade we talking about. I know he talking about another trade, bro. Forty-eight minutes, y'all. Forty-eight and a half. Glow yard. I want y'all to remember this. I want y'all to remember this day. Y'all just heard it. Y'all seen it yourself. Johnny agrees. He would trade Tim Hardaway right, not right now. I mean, not now, but right now for Grayson Allen. Right now. Yep. I was going to say maybe he's growing, but you know, later on. He'll switch it. He'll switch it right, right back to uh, right on, uh, back. tomorrow. <laughs> right back. Oh, no, no not tomorrow. Tonight. Tonight. Just about to say, what you mean tomorrow? Later on tonight. Soon the show's over with. Back on Twitter. <laughs> not even after the show. He's going to change it up it's later on in the change. comments. Uh, oh, Gina, yeah, yeah. Gina Kim said, as you said, King, we shouldn't worry about the teams below us. Uh, but I still want the Suns to lose at least one or two games because they still close to us and beat Kings twice and we're good. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Got a super chat, bro. Uh Logan with the five dollar dono. He says, What happens if Luca wins MVP and finals MVP? Would that qualify Luca as the face of the league? Luca might be the face based on pure talent alone. Yes. If Luca gets the finals MVP, he's the he's the he's the face of the league. Y'all haven't heard you ain't hear like ESPN and all. Or well, like uh, first things first. With, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I know. I know you know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm about to say. You, you think about what you like. Nick, on first things first, he says right now, like the title of King of the Hill is like vacant. 
and beneath that he got tears he got Giannis and uh joker on the next tier and then like luca lebron and somebody else on the next tier but beneath it or whatever uh, it might be sga but he says that it's up for grabs that's what he keeps saying like i told you i think the joker if the joker wins this year and wins the championship he's the he's the face of the league they're going to make joker the face of the league y'all. i'm telling you it, it is what it is but if luke they they don't think the joker is that guy or i don't think i don't think they believe they don't, don't think, they didn't believe don't, that Giannis was that dude. I don't think they believe that Joker is that dude either. I don't, I don't think they want it to be Joker. He's just not. Yeah, he don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they, and I don't think they think it's, it's him. I don't think, so Joker has to prove it. I know people, he gets the little, he gets laughs and all of that. He doesn't like basketball and it's all jokes and games and all that because he won a championship. It's all good. But I still think Joker has to prove himself. Like he isn't that dude. And it's his, his, it's flair. He doesn't have the flair. You feel yes, me? Like right. Joker that's why, doesn't. That's why I said. I, I, that's why I said I don't think they really wanted to be him. He's kind of boring in a way. He doesn't have a flair at all, really. To him, like his passes, he give you nice passing. But his kind of like Tim Duncan, game. remember? Kind of Tim Duncan is yes. I think they want. It's really Luca, bro. I've been saying this for the longest. I've been telling you the whole crying and pouting and all that. They like. They don't like that. They feel like it's like a tradition. And I, I I'm not always for traditions and always being a traditional list and all that. But it is traditions in sports. It is what it is. They feel like sometimes Luca goes against the traditions. They feel like he lo- he loses like certain stuff. It is what it is. you can't you can have all the stats in the world, but you didn't make the playoffs. You didn't even make the play in when we made the play in. Like remember Zion back in a, a couple years ago for him to get in the playoffs. And you guys, you and Kyrie were starters in the playoff in the All Star game, and y'all couldn't make the playoffs. And that's not saying it's their it was their fault. I'm just saying that's that it, it is what it is. It, they didn't make the play in, so. I think the league is it really wants Luca to be. They always talk about Luca being the playoff guy, and they always highlight that. Like Luca in the playoffs a different level, and nobody wants to see him in the playoffs. Like they want it to be Luca. They just have to see him take that next step again. Like he he made it to the Western Conference Finals. His guy Trey Young made it to the East Conference Finals. So it's comparable right now. It is what it he has to take that step where there's no conversation no more. So if Luca wins MVP, can we finally stop the Trey Young? Just, just go oh, if he, well, if he wins MVP, I told well, you. Well, I'm Trae sorry, Young. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Trey Young getting traded this offseason. It's not. It's not. I'm sorry. I got. I got. Let me. Let me correct that. It's not us that, with that conversation. It's only Atlanta fans with that conversation. Yeah. But Trey Young, when Trey Young gets traded this offseason, what's going to happen there? Yes. The conversation is completely over, right? Uh, it's, it was over for me uh, yeah, about two years ago, but it's been over. But I'm saying Atlanta fans can't even say anything, right? Oh, uh, they're they fine. Yeah. Hey, he dropped seventy three, and they still were trying to make his case that he's that Trey Young better. I don't know how you can win the <laughs> trade though. Trey Young not on the team no more. Yeah, good point. Jeez. Uh, Gina Kim said, "I forgot about Luke Cage. She's she going back and forth. I thought of the Punisher for Gaff too because he punishes those who dares to go to the rim." <laughs> Gina, you uh looking on the, on the on the Marvel site right now, just picking names. Ooh, Nova. Nova. I didn't say Nova yet. Oh, that's what, right there. <laughs> what about Century? Ooh, uh, ooh, Mephisto. Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, GD says, good to see you guys. What up, GD? What up, man? The Mavs are above the play-in right now and closing in on the fifth seed, so obviously Luka MVP case is serious now, or is there going to be a new excuse for White? No. Oh. I don't think so, GD. In the third, he in the third place right now, so he's still there. He fine. Just I wait. wouldn't blame me for I wouldn't even blame me for feeling that way, GD. Nah. You know how you know how the national media get they flip flop. Uh I think he unless might the Lakers. The Lakers could be complete trash and they'll still make excuses for them. The thing is he gonna he might keep winning like players of the weeks and player like player of the months. That's the thing with Luke for the end of the season. Player of the month. That's that's why I think he, he still got a chance to do it. Uh Miss King what up. She's a Glow Yard member. She says question. Uh why did uh, Porzingis, I guess. Uh, Lee, Porzingis. He looks good on the Celtics. Should we have let him go? Yes. Yes. Yeah. He he was he he didn't think he was a fourth option when he played for us. He got that money right away before before he even had to play a game, and thought he was a one A one B. So let me let me uh, kind of break this down for you, Miss King, because uh, we had some Atlanta fans uh, t- tagging us on uh, Twitter. We always get these people, man. When like a Jalen Brunson leave, he go ball. Or uh, you know, KP goes and he leaves knee balls. And they all back and say, "Oh, look at y'all had, look what y'all had." And Luca had all his help. And we always tell them, you know, as far as far as like KP, for example, you know, KP King noticed. Shout out to Jay and Will before King hopped on the show. I said this. I said I got sick and tired of constantly hearing 
Wait until KP get back. Wait until KP get back. Wait until KP get back. Man, when KP get back, man, wait till KP get back. Right? I got tired of hearing that. And then whenever KP got back, it took him forever to get into a rhythm. Yep. And then when he got into a rhythm, he got hurt again. Yep. We could never, ever count on KP to stay healthy. He was so he was inconsistent. The dude, the only thing he could do was face up and shoot. And he was really, really great at that. Mm-hmm. We talked about the fact that he couldn't post up guys a foot smaller than him. And with his clunkiness on the offensive end, he kind of it, it the offense didn't flow as well with him in, in the paint. Nope. So it just and then on top of that, if, if he wasn't flowing that well in the paint and, and Rick Carlisle and then refused to set him up in post ups, then he all he was becoming was a, a just a spot up shooter like a, a Massa Cleaver or somebody, right? And he so he's feeling like he's not being utilized, and then on top of that. You know he, his his style just didn't fit with the with, with the team and the offense that they were trying to run. So he couldn't stay healthy either, right? I mean, he, didn't, sorry, he, didn't, he didn't want us to play the five. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, that was yeah. I'm sorry. You're right. I forgot to add that in there too. You're right. Did not want to play the five. Now the way he's playing right now, if you go back and listen to a couple of uh, KP's interviews, he's mentioned this. It took maturity after leaving this like the Washington Wizards and finally realizing that this was something he had to do if he wanted to help contribute to winning. To be a winner, yep. To be a winner, and so when he was with the Mavericks, he had that ego as if like, oh, I'm I'm, I'm supposed to be one A one B, and it's like, bro, you're not better than Luca, and no he just never, he he could never get over, he could never get over that hump as far as or that thinking of thinking he's better than Luca. Let me ask, let me ask you a question, uh, Ralph. I know KP's doing doing good things and all right now. Real talk, he's and you don't have to be biased at all. Just be hundred percent sure. Mm-hmm. He's doing his season right now. I don't know what he's averaging. Something okay. Would you take KP even in Boston right now uh, as your number two? Nope. That's then what we. That's how I feel like what we talking about. Not to you, Miss King. I'm just saying. And, like, that's, and that's, like, that was I better touch on that too before King said. <laughs> that was another reason why he looks so good right now, Miss King. He was a second option in Dallas. He's now like the third or fourth option in in, in, in with the Celtics. So you're asked to do less. There's not as much pressure on you. Remember, when he was the second option here, matter of fact, for example, if Kyrie don't have a good game, look how people are killing him because he's the second option. Yep. When he didn't have a good game here, people was killing him because he was the second option. There's no pressure on him in, with the Celtics because now you're like the second, I mean, that's why you're the third or maybe even fourth option with the Celtics. So it's, lot, it's less pressure over there compared to we asking you to be, if not the second option, the one B yep. to Luka, right? You should so win that's why he looks Luka. better than what he's looked with us, with the Celtics. You should be able to win some games without Luca, and he proved he can't do. He couldn't do that. Because how many games did we win when Luca was out and he was the guy? Any? <laughs> I, I can't remember. Uh, Thomas says, "Not gonna lie, Taylor Hendricks is nice, like a baby Jonathan Isaac. He was under Luca's skin a bit. Uh, had a few blocks on Gafford too. He was my other choice beside Lively in the draft. Good to see. Yeah, Thomas." He yeah, he finally getting playing time because he, he wasn't getting no playing time earlier. Look, 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 look. Johnny B, I see why y'all be foaming at the mouth about PJ's defense. I think y'all do too much, though, but he does clamp up. He had Laurie uh, befuddled out there. Oh, 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 Johnny, you trying to give a compliment, I see. I'm not. He's he trying. I'm not. Because uh, uh, he'll switch that up. You know he'll switch it up by tomorrow. <laughs> you know he'll switch it right, up. Right, on the show tomorrow, he'll be on like, On the show tomorrow, he'll switch it up. You know how uh, he is. Precision says, great win, Mavs. Gaff for the straight beast. Yes. I see you, Chris. Court Kane said 50 wins would be nice. It would be. It would be, man. I think we can do it, Chris. I think we can we do it. We're almost there, man. We're almost there. Nine and three. Uh, Berg says, I love how we are no longer a live or die by the three team. We've got a roster of guys who finish strong in the paint. Also, I love the dunks. They really bring momentum. We even got Kyrie booming. Yep. Bro, I was, I, I was, that shocked the heck out of me when Kyrie got up there. I was like, man, I thought he was going to like catch and like, you know, like, like kind of freak it or whatever. Uh huh. He yammed it. I'm like, okay. Nah, Kyrie be up there two handing, bro. Hey, as soon as he said, you saw him do this? Yeah. So throw it up. I said, oh, Luca, go ahead. I knew Luca was going to get me. Adam. Uh, Lies says he's a Glow Yard member. If I didn't say that already, I said I remember you, Rel, ranting about getting athletic two years ago. Those were some fun rants. <laughs> it uh, sounds like you got somebody in the front office that know what the heck they're doing, huh, Lies? Hmm. No, uh, no more uh, mixtape comments anymore, huh? Funny how that works. 
Uh, Frank Sagloya member, he says it's insane how like eight teams in the West have 40 wins and some could possibly miss the playoffs. Facts, Frank. You know, the Miami, uh, remember that year? What year was it? I can't Mavericks remember. Mavericks got 50 in the eighth seed. No, I think it was Oklahoma City got 50 in the eighth seed. Oh, we were seventh seed that year? We no, we was like. Now we were like top four in the West in Oklahoma City was like that kind of like that young up and coming team and they were like number eight and they had like fifty wins and I remember that year I was just like that's I think great. One of the, that was I think, uh uh one of the years I, I I remember that year bro being like one of the craziest times I ever seen that's when we actually I mean we knew before bro, then but the, the that really year, cemented when we said like yeah the West is better than the East bro when you had the year the, we played Denver though and we were the seventh seed right against Denver then we had fifty wins. That was 08. 08. Might have been. 07? No, oh, yeah, 08 or 09. That's what I thought we had 50 wins then. We would like the seventh seed. That I don't remember, but I do. Like I said, I remember that year when uh, that's when they had Westbrook and all those guys. Yeah, all of them. 50, all yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, they had 50 wins at the AC, bro. And that's why I was like, yo, the West I could have sworn we were a lower seed because I, I remember at the end of the year, Jason Terry putting up the 5 0. We were like a lower seed when we finally got the 50 again. He was like, Saying we still got it because I thought we were top five that year. I thought we were lower seed. I thought we were like the seventh seed playing Denver, like number two. Well, no, no, no. The the year I'm talking about that was like before that was like because that was uh that was like 2000. Like, yeah, you might be right. I don't know if that's the same year. I'm just saying, I think that year we played Denver and they were like the second seed. I think we were two seven and we had 50 wins, I think. It might have been. I can't remember. Uh, Nick says, what's good? What up, Nick? Uh, Luke says, important little break in the schedule to refresh before a tough road trip. Facts. Uh, Ray says, shout out to Gaffer, a.k.a. Wolverine, uh, from ACL in the first quarter to Duncan in the second night, second half. Hashtag Div off night. Yeah, Div said he that's definitely an ACL tear. And we like, Div, man, chill out, Jeez. Div. Yeah, Dave, Dave, we don't need to a mic, man. Yeah, Dave, like that. I've I've had a. He said I had an ACL uh, tear before, and that's exactly how mine was. I'm like, Dave, that one don't have ACL. And I'm telling you, go back and watch it. <laughs> Pasquale says, uh, I don't need Kyrie to be anything but a dependable player, game in and game out. We have so much talent and athleticism and good IQ players, not to mention Luca. Uh, Kyrie is an anchor. Yes. Uh, GD said, Don't know if you noticed, but the camera cut to the bench when Luca was at the line. Kyle laughed and shot a great job when he hit one. Whole bench was laughing. Vibes and chemistry is so high. That's good. That's good. Hey, uh, Black, I know you said uh, Gafford is a perfect perfect stopgap next to Lively. Gafford, young, though, bro. Like, yeah, it's like a stopgap. It's like just having two. Whew. So the stopgap idea of a stopgap was like a Clint Capella, somebody who was yeah. like close to 30, right? A guy that you don't look at him being any part of your future. I, like I told King earlier in the show, Lobby only been in the league five years, y'all. He's still young. PJ Washington is still young. We took we just drafted two cornerstone guys that can that can be that can you can build with Luca and them moving forward, man, for the next three or four years. Yeah. They're still young. So Bro, he's not Gaff, gonna be a stop guy. Gaffer got five years in, before he's 30. Yeah. Gaff is 25. PJ 24. Before he's 30. Yeah. So uh, Nick said, oh, I said shout out to Nico, man. Yeah. Nick says Gafford gets the game ball for the fastest ACL recovery of all time. Thank you, Dr. Div. Yeah, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Told you Div was Div was boy, wild. Wow, boy. I swear. Uh Nancy says Dante said in his post-game interview, the last game that during timeout, Sweeney is also in the huddle now, and it's making a difference. Interesting. Maybe Sweeney doing his job. Uh Ray said. No king, it's ACL. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see him get carted off the court, King? Today, Jeez, oh, man. man, come on, man. Uh, Luke says, just need to take care of business against the Kings and split one on one to finish top six. Yeah, you split, you should be able to take care of it too. But definitely, if you win both of them and you put two L's on the Kings record, you probably hey, are you, not if, if you yet. do that to the Kings and then they turn around because the Phoenix Suns got got a hard schedule, somebody just named off the yep. uh, record or whatever, man. Two, two is two would be serious, bro. Like I want to win one for sure, but two would be. And nice. and we in Sacramento too. Yep, I see you win. Yeah, it did look like a Charlie horse. That's what I thought it was too when I saw Gaffer on the side. I was like, yeah, yeah them suck. Gotta, 
thought he had a frog, to tell you the truth. Uh, Richard says, uh, the kitty it has a chance to change the narrative on him. Hopefully, he doesn't blow it. I feel you, Richard. We always hope for the best. Uh, Johnny B said the Mavs one game behind the fourth seed. I think they're two and a half, Johnny B. No, nah, they uh behind the four. They two and a half, right? They one and a half behind the I thought the, the five seed. Uh three. The three behind us, uh it's four three. seed. Yeah, uh yeah. But like you said, they still they played more games than we have. No, we oh, played more games. We played more games. They they have how many more how many more W's do they have than us? Three it's or two. four? Two. They have two more W's and how many more how many less L's? Four? Four. So yeah, we like three, three, three games yeah. behind them, and I think we one and a half behind the. Yeah, we'll probably make that up too because they play. I think, we, like I said, we offer like three days. So, and we won if they lose. Yeah, if they'll they play lose, like they'll probably play like two more games within that. Yep. Time. If they lose between the time we play again, that'll be you, sh- you should root for the Clippers to lose. That's truthfully what's going on right now. But the Pelicans, how many games above us in the L's? You said two, only two, right? In the yeah, Bell, two, Pelicans, yeah. right? Yep. yeah, two. You got a chance, bro. You got one a chance. win, two losses. So yeah. They, so they one and a half above us. Mm-hmm. One more L and they'll be one ahead of us. That's it, man. That's wow. Yeah, that that that, that Kings get, uh, series is gonna be massive. Yeah, oh, it's important. GD said, "I just really wish Josh could have been out there for that love fest, bro. Would have feasted." Yeah, yeah, I miss Josh on that. Uh, Ray says, "I can't wait for Old Max because his defense and athleticism fits like a glove, and this Mavs new identity." Shout out to Nico, bro. Nico about to. Be special, yeah. Push up and be more. Uh, Gina Kim says, Mavs chemistry looking good right now. I was told Luca and Kai can't play together. Luca is a ball hog, uh, they turn Kai into a role player. Mavs defense is so bad. Luca cone offense is only Luca yapping. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, Pasquale says, uh, Gafford and Lively are rooks. Uh, Exum and Hardy Green come back soon. Are, they're knights. PJ and DJJ are bishops, and we are playing with two queens and Luke and Kai. My bad for the uh, the bad chess reference. If you know, you know. Now I know uh, Pasquale. I love chess. Uh, Pasquale says King facts. We have never seen this before. Bradley and company wasn't doing this in the nineties. Dirk didn't have a center until Chandler. We had DP and Gaff and Bo in the past few years. This is new. Yes. Hold on, Pasquale. You're not going to disrespect the great. Future Hall of Famer Sean Bradley, bro. We even had that today, man. All right. No, uh, sorry. No, he, he, he he passed, but he forgot Shout about Rachel Prince. Ooh, uh, Daniel yeah. said, uh, "Hey, great win tonight for the Mavs. Uh, I'm glad that we are being more physical on defense and getting our points in the paint. Concerned about the threes, but they will come soon. I hope. I told you, I, I I'm trying to just. I know we're all the threes. We go. Ooh. We want the threes to be there, but mm-hmm. do we need threes if we play in this way? Like, I'm not trying to say like, it." Is it okay to be a different team? Oh no, no, we we we, we could be a different team. But like because I said, my, just hit them when you hit them when you open, man. Just hit yes. them when you open. Hit them when you open. But my thing is, you know how like even those teams I told you that 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 weren't great at threes that won championships. Don't you think Luke and Kyrie better than their best two players at making threes? So if I uh, said the, the Bucks, if I said the Lakers, listen, somebody told me that uh, Luke and Kyrie don't work well together. That's what I was told. I'm telling you, bro, this team is is dangerous, like really, really dangerous. Uh, GD says, hate to be the downer, but if our three-point shooting doesn't improve at least a bit, we aren't as safe or as good as we think we are. We need to make teams respect us on our side. Uh, I'm telling you, I know you don't. Not as if you keep destroying them in the paint. No, you don't. You don't. You get rebounds and you destroy them in the paint. You get putbacks. It was one possession where we got like, for like eight rebounds back to back to back and was just passing them out. And about, and I think at some point, I think PJ got fouled or something like that when he went inside for the layup. I was like, "Damn!" No, nah, wasn't that uh Gafford that got fouled? I think it might have been Gafford. Somebody. I'm just saying it was. It was no, uh, not when Gafford Lobby was in there. No, it was Lobby at that point. Somebody went in there and got fouled after it was like it kept going around and they kept getting shots. Yeah, so. I think he got like five offensive rebounds or something like that. Uh, David, he's a glow yard member. He said, "I love this team. It's so fun to watch. One of the only things holding us back is three point percentage to be a championship team." I keep saying that. I ain't paying attention to that defense, though, huh? Hey, I, uh, I I told you they mentioned it today on the broadcast. They talked about that too. They brought That's up so. some numbers talking about the the championship teams with the the three point percentages and all that stuff. Uh, Pasquale said, "Oops, I meant DP Maxi, etc." Yeah, instead of both, oh, I get man. you, uh, Pasquale. Uh, he says King Gaffin on my mind because whoa, yeah, major pause, but yes, uh, Pasquale. 
Uh, Tone says he's a glow yard member. If I didn't say before, do you right by Tim and send him to a to a contender in the East? Yeah, send him to Miami. Hey, send him to uh, send him to Atlanta. Yeah, send him to Atlanta. Absolutely, he could be number one over there or number two. I mean, Atlanta or New York, one of them. You know, hey, absolutely, you know? New York, definitely. They, New York might win, go to the Eastern Conference Finals. Send him. Hey, there. hey uh, shout shout to Cowboy Bob, man. <laughs> uh, Daniel said, "I did like what you said, King, on playback about the King series." If somehow some way we beat Sacramento two times at their place, it's a major event. Yeah. If we beat Sacramento twice, I really don't think we're going to play it. I think that's a yeah, wrap. Yeah, like I said, if we win both of those, I think that's 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 it, bro. Yeah, I think that's a wrap. Uh Gina Kim says, uh, wins like this got me feeling a little delusional, but it's still one game at a time. Still the Luca MVP at the four to six seed, beat Nuggets in seven game Western Conference Finals. Luca Western Conference Finals MVP, final Celtics, Luke uh, slash Kai Finals MVP. Oh, yeah, I forgot they do the uh, the, the, the conference champ, uh, yeah, finals Magic league. Johnson award now. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, live says, Greetings, guys. What up? What up? Uh, nice game from the team. Nice team win. Domination in the paint again. Hardy showed up. No cleave at the five. Timmy proves again who he is. I'm really confident what Mavs can do. Yeah, and I told you if Hardy gets more minutes, don't can Hardy knock down threes? I'm, if the team is there, Rel, it's just when Jason Kidd says, I'm going to stop playing these guys and I'm going to play the guys that can do what they can do, we have mm-hmm. everything we need on this team. That's really how I feel. Uh, you can feel that all you want. I was told by a couple of people, uh, the Glow Yard members, a couple of them, no names will be uh, said here, that uh, Tim Hall is better than uh, Jay Nardi. That's all we heard. Yeah, I was told a few times. Mm. And, and you rather him have him running the point than Jaden Hardy? That's what I heard too. Uh, Gina Kim said they have the roles. How many? How many lobs did you see uh, Jaden Hardy do today? A few of them. You seen Tim do that many lobs? Never. No. Mm. Gina, Gina Kim said they have the roles and leading clutch when he's only been clutch like once. Steph was getting leading in the beginning, but it should be Luca since we the most clutch team and Kai can't get it. Yeah, I don't think the Rosen will get it. I think Luca probably would get it. We're the most clutch team too. We have the best clutch record too. So, yeah, they probably be looking, don't you? Uh, GD said, folks on Twitter saying we should not try to move up to fifth and stay put at six to avoid Denver. I really want OKC in round one. I don't want Denver at all. I want an MVP. I want the best season possible. I, I don't know. Maybe folks don't want Luka to get his awards. I, I just I want him to get an award, man. I want him to win the most games possible and go do what you do. I'm not afraid of no team. If we got to play Denver, we got to play Denver. Uh, go. A glow yard member, he says Hardy with some meaningful minutes and he produced. I don't want to see THJ on the floor for the rest of the season. Wow, go. I feel you. Uh, Gina Kim says Kai is 4 0 against Luca uh, on dunks. I would love to see Luca dunk more, but it makes me nervous because of that Pels game from last year. He was wild. He only he hasn't made a dunk at this year, Luca. Damn, he ain't got one. Hmm. Damn, I'd have thought he at least had one. Uh, Tone says, do right by Tim and send him to a contender in the East as a salary dump, even if you do good in the playoffs. Let Hardy step up and give DJJ a few dollars to stay next year. I feel you, Tone. Yep. Colin says, let's just make it out of the play-in. Worry about who we play when we are there. Yes. That's one game at a time. We'll see who we got to play once we got to get that match up with them. But let's just get out of it. When is the game? Yeah, get out of the play-in. And win as many games as you can. Don't play with the basketball gods. Dave's a glow yard member. He says there is no reason to play THJ anymore other than garbage minutes. We need to get Hardy ready for the playoffs. Uh, Eric says, I love the way PJ and Gaffer came straight in and blended well with the starting five facts. Yep. That means that's crazy. Luke, uh, that's crazy. G, I mean, uh, it's a GM. That's crazy. <laughs> Nico just came and got us our two starters in the trade yep. deadline. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, Gina Kim said, I'm sorry, I meant the love city. Get it? Duh, like the in Dallas. And duh in Dallas, love the L for, uh, uh, I guess, Alice and love and city, obviously. Yes, Gina Kim, I got it. Uh, Tone said, I think we can win. <laughs> Stop, bro. I thought she was over there laughing. Uh, bro, I, I'm sitting there pitching Gina, like, really sitting there trying to break it down. It. Yeah, yeah. Like, I got it, Gina Kim. I got it. I understood what you say when you say the, the it. Live, you get it like live, yeah, like, live and, and, and live. And, uh, we, we got we it. Dude, the punchline. We had the punchline. I know we had the punchline at first when you said duh. We got that part. 
Uh, Diddy, because uh, Dallas is a city. We, we know. We know. <laughs> uh, Tone said, I think we can win oh, with the squad man. this year, but I feel like we still one piece away from a dynasty. Might got to give up Josh to get that last piece. Yeah, we'll see yeah. how far. We got to see playoffs. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, you have heard me say already. I said, man, if Dallas can get a three to put Dang, beside oh. uh, PJ, and we, I think we got the pieces, man, if we can make the move this uh, offseason to make yeah. one more good piece. And you're right, man. Dallas could really be up there in the upper echelon, man, of the of the teams in the West, man. If, yep. in, in league, I should say, if they play their cards right, man. Shout out to Nico, man. Yep. Daniel says also, who knew that Uncle Drew can dunk? That love that Luca love to Kyrie for the slam was very nice. And this emoji fire. Yes. What up, Solo? He said it should be official that Hardy gets THJ minutes, period. Hmm. Yeah, we've been screaming that all year, but we were told to shut up. Kenneth says, Ro, I need that hat, fam. Yeah, that hat is tough. But Ro wasn't even didn't even like the city stuff at first. He, he phony. Shout out to phony. One, shout out to the to uh to the missus. Oh phony. She got better taste than you. Uh actually, happy birthday. It's happy birthday on both uh sides. Oh yeah, so Liz. Happy birthday to the missus. Uh Black she New probably sleep, bro. Yeah, she, she, so she won't know that you said it. She'll still she'll yell at you and say you didn't say anything. Uh he Black New Warrior. He's a glow yard member. I don't know if I talked. I, I got a uh, comment, I should say, earlier. I know I talked about him, but he says, it's Kai Omni-Man and Luca Invincible. I'm looking forward to the new episode tonight when I get off of work. That's more of you, bro. Oh, I ain't going to be able to watch both of them tonight. I got to get up in the morning. Uh, I am I'm I'm got to watch Halo because I got jumped on Twitter and then shout out to Will. It's, it's, I, it's, folks tell me I need to get on it, so awesome. I'm going well, yeah, to watch that tonight. I heard Halo awesome, though. Next season, next episode of season finale, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, tonight. Oh, just, tonight is. Okay. Yeah. Today is or, or yesterday, whenever it was. Thursday. Yesterday. Well, yeah. yesterday. Yes. Uh, Daniel said that 51 to 31 record in the top five seed for the Mavericks is looking really good right now, but still one game at a time. Facts. Uh, Solo says game ball should go to Hardy and Gafford. They got that fourth quarter going, period. Yes. Uh, Eric says. Uh, why would anyone want kid gone when kid was a significant part of this team with the 90s Mavs when they were good then came back and won the chip when we were great in 11 he deserves his position not not missing the playoffs last year and playing around this year uh i feel you but it's too uh, you just i'm just trying to see you named off everything he did as a player yeah play play and coach two different things Eric, that's man. two different things man <laughs> When you got a coach that don't take responsibility for some of the decisions that he make, when you got a coach that don't communicate, when you got a coach that's fla- uh, that's real finicky about the the starting, pos- I mean the uh, the rotations, when you got him playing players that shouldn't be playing, like say a Massey Cleaver or the White Pal or a Tim Hardaway or whatever the case is, when he says idiotic stuff in post games and, and points blame at everybody else, a you know, of it, you say what? A bucket of KFC. Yeah, a bucket of KFC in in a, in a movie. Or whatever. Remember, remember that. Remember that quote. Or hey, I'm just a coach. I'm just here watching, just like you guys. When you the guy who literally can make decisions on the team. So that's why we say that, Eric. Everything you had named off. Yeah, you're right. As, as a player, yeah. But we're not talking about Jason Kidd, the player. We're talking about Jason Kidd, the coach. Yeah, Eric. If this would have been if you switch names and take Jason Kidd and make him Dirk Nowitzki, and Dirk was doing the same thing, I still would have said fire Dirk Nowitzki. Yep. You know, I would be like fire Dirk. Them, all that stuff you just named off, that's not helping them right now as a coach. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's why we say that, man. And then we got so, super chat, bro. Yeah. Joe with the 499 dough knows a glow yard member. He said folks need to join playback so they can learn glow yard family rules like uh one game at a time, also, so they can be entertained by Dill's dumb opinions. <laughs> oh man. That boy Joe be kidding Dill, man. Yeah. I told this battles going on. Y'all be missing out on the battles and playback. Yeah, he be getting deal, bro. Uh, Anthony says, what happens when Green gets back? Do you finally cut hard away? I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Man, I what's think a good playoffs, question? I don't know. Stop playing them. You said, you said the white power? Yep. Uh, Gina Kim said, I already saw a fan say they wouldn't hesitate trading Gaff. Like, can we not think about trades right now and appreciate the bigs we have? Both Live and Gaff are young. We've needed a big for years. Gina Kim, let me tell you something. You need to go down your Twitter, uh, like followers or whatever who you follow, and you need to unfollow a few of them people because these people you be saying you see folks saying Gaffer trade them and all. Like if 
at least mute these people. Like, <laughs> yeah, some that, that's ridiculous. There's no way I'm listening. To, I, like, I, where I, that even where that even come from? Call them out. You need to retweet. You use that retweet button or quote and say some stuff back to them or something. That's foolish. Let us all know who the, who that person is. Or who them people are. Uh, GD said Timmy ain't even chucking up stupid shots anymore. You think he's just down on himself, or did someone talk to him? A little bit of both. Might be, might be confidence, man. Yeah. <laughs> they booed him. Uh, Solo said kid needs to stop playing with these teams. They should be beaten early. It shouldn't come down to the fourth quarter with a few te- few of these teams. I agree. Uh, TGK said Hardy being in the game during clutch time was awesome to see. Facts. Lie says Reddit Mavs is pushing for the Love Goblins instead of Love City. Sounds fire in my opinion. I feel you. They're going to make something up. Uh, Gina Kim said King really want revenge on the Clippers. He's thirsting for that matchup. I would love that. But in the second round, we need an easy team like OKC or Wolves just to warm up and get a feel. Then Clips. I remember the Mavs in 2011, right? Who was the easy team? The Blazers. They weren't even the easy team. That's what I'm saying. Like, just go win. That's how I feel. Like if you're gonna win and you on that run, nobody should be able to stand in your way. That's how I feel. If you're gonna win it, you're gonna win it no matter who's in front of you. Like unless you're the 07 Mavericks. <laughs> Mar says, uh, he's a glow yard member, says with the current winning pace each Western team is are experiencing, we're projected to face the Timberwolves in the first round and hopefully Thunder in the second. Reserve nuggets for the Western Conference Finals. Sounds fun. Uh, TGK says the reason I've been saying that is because fake MFFLs are going to show their true colors. The more Luke gets successful in Dallas, the more these fake fans will be upset. Then those aren't fans, TGK. Yep. Nick says winning cures everything. I'm willing to eat all crow about kid. If he takes the Mavs back to the Western Conference Finals, that should be a one year extension. NBA Finals, two year extension, champion, a five year extension. I feel you. When it does cure everything, I can't lie. Uh, Pasquale says, Gina Kim, uh, you other stands need to chill. Did y'all read Matt's Mavs Money Ball article on the Kai and Luca Ball uh, walk up? Walk up. Uh, great emotional reporting on how moments in basketball are unifying. Yeah, Pasquale. Try to... Shout out to Matt, man. Shout out to Matt. Matt does awesome work. Uh, Gina Kim said, I think it could be anyone from any universe, Marvel or DC. I feel you. What about Image Comics, though, Gina? Uh, GD said, "Why don't one of them, why can't one of them be spawned?" GD I'm said, just, "That's why I said he was coming." Uh huh. So I said, "Your boy Todd McFarlane." Them. Uh, Ooh, but go ahead. G, GD says, "Why did the AAC empty out so early? It was a ten-point game with four minutes left, and the stars were still playing and putting up highlights. Even the Jazz broadcast mentioned it cleared out early. They knew what time it was. Yeah, they did." Uh, Omar said, "We missed Josh Green shooting. Never thought I would say that. Facts." Uh, Martin says, not Grayson. There are so many legit tra- uh, targets for a future THJ trade. We need athletic 3D, 3 and D wings to complete the long PP circle. Love City for life. Yeah, yeah we, we got to come, with- yeah, come with a name. Yeah. Uh, Gina Kim said, did y'all see Luca off ball and on ball stats? Luca is clearly the best on ball player in the league right now, no doubt. But even his shooting off ball is better than most, especially uh, SGA, who they said was better. Yes. Uh, Martin said, I'd say we trade for Doe uh, two times. Brooklyn Nets podcast saying they need shooters. Nah, I don't want Doe. I'm over that. Once we got P- we got PJ and DJJ at, at the um, front line or whatever on the, on the uh, starters. And I think both of them are right now better than Dorian Finney-Smith. So I, I know the way they're talking about getting what you need to give up for Dodo and all that, it's not worth it for him being a backup player. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Yeah, to be honest with you, I don't, I don't know who. I mean, I would like to get like a Herb Jones. We can get Herb Jones and That's, leave me alone. If the I think, but uh, whew, they gonna I they gonna want some. They gonna yeah, they gonna want. They, they might with this injury today though. Stuff might really change. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gina Kim said, "No DV said lively is Mister Fantastic Luke Cage for Gaff and Spider Man for PJ." I was saying I didn't think of Luke Cage, but Punisher would be a good comparison too, in my opinion. Yeah, if you stay at Marvel. Thomas says, uh, what they really want is for Ant to be the face of the league. They so badly want an American back in that spot. You want to talk about Flash and Swag, look no further than Kermit. Yeah, they absolutely want an American to be that. I am 100% agree with that one. Uh, Johnny B says, if we had a healthy C. Wood on this team right now, we win the title. Yeah. Uh, Ramble Gamble is a Glow Yard member. He says, 
that was a fun game. Great ball movement and alley oops. You could see the team was having fun. Facts. Uh, Gina Kim said, uh, "What's the grade y'all will give Nico?" I see fans saying C minus or B because of Brunson and uh, Tengus and extended Maxi and all. But that was Cuban for the most part. He did what he could, and now look at us. Uh, Tengus Pingus don't got nothing to do with um uh, with Nico. I give Nico the credit for getting him off the team at that point when he needed to be gone. Um, but I'm gonna give him a since I'm I'm a grade not knowing who really had the the input on the stuff. So I'm just gonna put all his actions as his act, his actions. So I'm gonna give him a B, B plus. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm gonna give him a B plus. Yeah. Um, uh, that Brunson part wasn't his fault. That That's what I'm saying. I'm that going off you. No, yeah, no, I know. Going off of you feel because if 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 you don't include if if we no, made what I'm saying that, is yeah, no. If uh, like you said, if everything's on him, yes, B. Yeah. But for the folks who don't know, that wasn't him. That Brunson I mean, thing was all Mark Cuban, and and Brunson even went on record and talked about it yeah. being Mark Cuban. I think Nico's an A to tell you the truth, but like I said, I'm 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 gonna because I it hasn't came out officially that it wasn't Nico and all that. And Nico didn't and come the reason out and why say that wasn't me. And people people kind of gray harshly on the on the KP uh trade, but KP got traded for people that helped us get to the West Conference Finals. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. KP was which was also got flipped team. to get Kyrie. We needed KP off this team at that yes. point, and he got rid of KP. He got rid of Josh Richardson right away, like the stuff that he was given. So that's when it started for me when he got rid of Josh Richardson. Yeah, I was like, oh, because I didn't think it was possible, bro. I, I didn't either. I, I was like, man, he gonna he gonna hop back in. in. He did opt in, didn't he? He still got a sign and trade. And then what happened? Oh, what did he do? I think he, he did opt in, in and he didn't get trade. Yeah, you know, I was traded. like, man, he got he got traded. I did, I did not think anybody was going to get Josh Richardson because everybody kept saying, man, he gonna opt in, man, he gonna opt in, what and up? he did. And I was like, dang, and then up next thing we know, he's traded to blah blah blah. What up, Freezy? Check what out up, Breezy. Here's y'all for all your New York Knicks and NBA uh, just information in general. Follow them on YouTube. Follow them on all the different medias, too. I know you're on uh, Instagram and X as well, uh, Freezy. But follow them all over the place, y'all. Excellent work. I know that's all, guys. Uh, Gina Kim, she says, and they mentioned C. Wood, but Kid not playing them wasn't his fault. And Kid brought JaVale McGee here. So how was that his fault, too? I give him an A or B plus. He's done as much as he could. I feel you. Uh, Gina Kim said, who y'all got? Ramadan Kai or Headband Luca? <laughs> long as not that small headband, man. A tennis headband. I hate that headband. You want to let James, that shoe screen headband? Yeah, I hate it. James says, can we make a case for Gafford as most improved player? Nah. Too late in the season, James. And not only that, um, his his uh, scoring uh, boost isn't big enough to be yeah. – in the, in the consideration, so yeah, I think that should be Maxie's. Let Maxie have it. Uh, Nick says Gaff and Lively are one and one A, just like Luke Kai. Yet, yeah, um, so yes, so kind of like the way that's what Gafford and Lively are with KP thought he was with Luca. Yes, <laughs> that's how Gafford and Lively are. Uh, Pasquale said, Real Mavs 99 2000 season 40 and 42, ninth place. I don't know if that's what you were uh, referencing, but still crazy. Uh no no no, and that year you talking about Pasquale? That was the year right before Dallas started going on a run of going to the playoffs every year. Yeah, yeah and winning fifty games and all that stuff. That was because that next year they played uh Utah in the first round. Yep, the Calvin Booth layup. Yep, uh, Gina Kim said. Also, I had Hardy as Spider Man, but we'll keep him as Robin because he's nice next to Kai, and that's his mentor. Ro, you got to help us think of something. You know more heroes than we do. Yeah, I'll be here all night, Gina. If I did that. Uh, Dave says, Raw, they were trolling me saying I said Gafford got ACL, but the guy I was talking about was Ingram, not Gafford. These guys, you watch, I'm 100% right. He has ACL tear bucket. No, nah, I wasn't just, it wasn't just oh on the, uh, no damn uh, Ingram, but yeah, he did say the Ingram tore his too. But he definitely said oh, it on Gafford too, when he got hit. Bro, Dave is funny, bro. Uh, Dave, Dave is Dave. hilarious, bro. Gina Kim said, <laughs> said me, so like, man, let me tell my side of the story, man. Luca slapped Green on the bench. <laughs> it was light, but I think Green was teasing him. I heard Keith and Luca been close. They sit next to each other on the bench. Yeah, Keith telling Luca to watch out for Joker, man. Uh, Gina oh, Kim man. said it's funny how Luca and Keith are close, but Luca was beefing with his brother, or Keith was beefing with his brother. Yeah, right. Well, I guess Luca was beefing with us. That's funny. Luca did have beef with Marcus. Yeah, Joker had beef with Markeith. 
Uh, GD said Kyrie in his post game said, I think here in Dallas, I have been accepted way beyond just my talent on the court. This dude is retiring a match. I told you, GD, I want Kyrie to have his jersey. My goal for Kyrie is him having his jersey in the Raptors. That's what I want. Uh, listen, it's all, uh, it's all I know. They better treat Kyrie like they treated Maxi, Dwight Powell, and Tim Hardaway. That's all I know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Johnny B said Lucas slapped Josh on the sideline. Yeah, I saw that, man. It was like a little, it was like a little tap. Yeah. Appreciate you. Uh, he gave him that, gave him that uh, Jamal Moldy slap. I love me some me. Appreciate you. Uh, Black says, I believe the shooting slump is working in the Mavs' favor. It has helped them develop an identity without dying by the three facts. Uh, Nick said, look at Dr. Div trying to change his gaffric diagnosis. Uh, that should be illegal. Mm. Uh, Gina Kim said, "Kids, uh, strug- King struggle at home, so Mavs got to step up and win. Sabonis so would definitely play physical, so we got to be careful with him. But I trust our bigs. Who going to put Pete? Who are we getting put in PJ? I think Sabonis. So uh, I think, I think, I think, yeah. I think uh, Harrison Bonus is hurt. Yeah, so I, I think I think Sabonis so get put in PJ. Get, gets put in PJ. I would put PJ on uh, Keegan Murray because that dude get hot yeah, against Keegan us, man. Murray do get hot." But I, you don't think DJJ gonna play him? Uh, I think they're gonna probably put DJJ on uh, Fox to kind of slow him down. Yeah, you're him. right. You're yeah. right because you're right. Cause he, always, he always put DJJ on the wing on the. Uh, you're right. You're right. Guy. You're right. So PJ probably would play Keegan Murray. You're right. Uh, GD said, "King, my dude, ain't even about needing threes. It's about needing opponent to be afraid to leave shooters open. Otherwise, old boards get harder and the paint gets clogged." You're right, but we not we not trash on threes though. Like we're not today. Will we shoot thirty three percent, something like that? Thirty one, thirty. So say it. That's good enough. Guys, shoot shots. Long, Maxi Cleveland they made, made two fourteen today. today so that's, that's what I said. Ma- Maxi made two today. Mm. Like you got to shoot them and make them. Yeah, well, another shoot. reason why too. You made more threes because Hardy played today. Mm-hmm. We got enough yeah. three point shooting. Funny how that works. Rebounding. That's all I'm saying, GD. Uh, Jura says. The only teams that I can think or, in fact, would give the Mavs trouble are Boston, Denver, and L.A. Clippers. Maybe we can add Milwaukee. All of this, the Mavs ought to have in either five or six games. I'm not scared of Milwaukee. I'm not either. I'm not scared of a lot of the teams, but we'll see. Like I say, as long as we play right, we'll see. Uh, Luke says, Pals play Heat tomorrow, so another loss for them. Mm. They play in They play in Miami, uh, Luke. doesn't matter. It definitely going to matter for this one. I, he played way better in in the uh, at home. Brandon Ingram missing the game does it really matter much? It still should be a hard victory for them to get either way, right? Oh, it is. Uh, Gina Kim said we have to win twice because they already have two wins on us. After the Kings game, we shouldn't have any more important games other than OKC, which is the last game. We still got Golden State. Oh, ooh. Okay. Yep. In Miami, that's what I'm talking about. James said, "Funny how." A couple months ago, we were ready to ship out everybody but Luke and Kyrie. Now I'm good with everybody if used the right way. Put them in the right positions, James. So we talk about. Been screaming it all year. Uh, Black Noir with the $5 don't know. He's a glow yard member. He says, I uh, just wanted to show some love and say thanks for the content, guys. Go Mavs. Man, appreciate you, Black Noir. It's Black. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, Gina Kim said fans want us to rest Luca our last game. I really think Kyle will be healthy from here on out. And Luca is young. I'm concerned about his hamstring, but I think he'll be fine. No need to rest him. I think he's fine. Uh, Daniel said, I know that we are not towards the offseason yet, but could you see a package for Mikel Bridges on the Mavericks next season? We'll see. It's going to be Ooh, Tim. Yeah. Tim's contract and what we got left and what it can get us. Yeah, we'll see what they can get us. We're going to see. Uh, man, we got, like, like I said, we got like a Herb Jones on Mikel Bridges at the man. Listen, game over. Bro. Game That'd be over. it. That'd be it. The league is over. Gina doing absolute gymnastics to try to make that pun happen. Yeah, she was, Gina. Uh, she shout, says, shout to Gina. Just had to break it down for y'all in case. Uh, let's say I don't be knowing that stuff on me. So y'all get me all the time. Like, I don't know that. Uh, Richard <laughs> says, told y'all the Cuban has messed up the fan base. We should want to beat the man, the Cuban effect. Yeah. Uh, Luke says Mavs need to win out to give Luke everything he deserves. Yeah, if they win out, he definitely get an MVP. Oh, yeah, yeah. If he win out, yeah. Uh, be, uh, Gina Kim said, what if we compare them to anime characters? I don't know too many players, but Luke could be Naruto or uh, One Punch Man. Uh, Timmy definitely Vegeta. Nah, it's hell no, Timmy. Not Ooh, don't be. You don't you. 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 Don't
disrespectful, Gina. You understand? Don't you do that, Hardy or Lively, Luffy? I'm not good at this. Uh, GD said, "Ain't no way you two just said you gotta watch that garbage Halo show. That show is an insult to the go to video." A uh, GD, it was yeah, in the I, first season. I heard after this one I though, they, they got it. I, they see, got it going back. I, I stopped you. watching it too, GD. I heard when you, you when we stopped watching it because they're now they said the end of this season going to pick back up to the game, right? That was the plan of it after this this season or whatever. Get back in with the game. So supposedly these episodes recently been ridiculous. I. I'm with you, GD. Listen, that last episode was off the chain. And I've been, like I said, I got hit today on Twitter. Like I said, Will texted me today. And they were like, bro, go watch this last episode. I, I'm I'm definitely gonna watch it, man. I'm definitely gonna watch it, bro. So like, yeah, man. I I, t- I told you, King. It's got some people, them the guys who are the periods of the game, they didn't like it. But I like it for what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm on the fence. Like I I I kind of you heard me say before, like it's it's not like the video game or whatever. But I like it for what it is. But I can see why some of the people who like the Halo purists say that they like don't like it or whatever. They said they were getting back to the video game though, so we'll see. Yeah, we'll uh, see. I'm, I'm gonna find out tonight. Well, I'll find out. Frank's a glow yard member. He says TGK is at war with them staying accounts that want to trade Gaffer. LOL. I was arguing against trading Gaffer with them today, shaking my head. LOL. Yeah, y'all wilding. I ain't giving them my energy. What up, Jeff? What that up, was- Jeff? All right, Jeff. For all of your Laker news, your NBA news in general, and your Dodgers news, shout out to them Dodgers though. Y'all had y'all was had a rough time against the Padres today. Yamamoto, first inning. It's only his first game though, but you know Yamamoto didn't look too great in that first inning, giving away five uh, runs. You said his ERA what? is a forty-five. You said you said Jordan number forty-five. Yeah, Jordan forty-five. But no, he'll be better though. He'll be good. Yeah, it's just it's just he got rough. He got roughed up though that first game though, boy. And uh, man, and Jeff. Don't let me get into uh, Otani, man. We ain't. Woo! Pete Rose about to get in the Hall of Fame because of Otani. Well, I'm kind of glad we didn't get him there, bro. We didn't need that on our on our ledger. Bro, the M- MLB do not want that to be a serious new like. That's their guy. They say Otani mm-hmm. uh, made like sixty five million alone in like endorsements, like yearly and all that. You think that's why they uh made not not why they made him, but that is why he took that contract he took. You saying he might be a little bit conniving and opportunistic oh on the low, like stuff might be adding up to you saying like, "Hmm, Otani." Hey I'm man, just, I'm just talking about this Batman hey, comic right hey. here, man. That's all I'm talking about, bro. That's all Gina, I'm talking about. Gina Kim said on TGK's pregame show, we said Larry, Div, and Johnny are our heels. Uh, Div, the fakest one, kind of like Rey Mysterio's son Dominic. I'm the oh, fake, man. right along with TGK, Joe, Richard, and the other members. Uh, Daniel said, "Got to be Utah on Monday at their place and get ready for that big series with the, the Kings next week. Oh, it will be tough, but I think we will destroy the Kings and show Fox the real MVP, Luca." Dave, it's not me, man. I, I, I ain't hating on you, Dave. I ain't hating on you. Know what? You it's one of my favorite. Either, you one of my favorite Glow Yard members, man. You are funny to me, Dave. It's not me either, Dave. It's the rest of the group. Whatever, and whatever, whenever Dave is not trolling, he be dropping some facts, though, bro. He did, but then he, he started trolling. Dropping, then he, he go back trolling. into his- they start going back into that. Yeah, Luke is the worst player in the league. Wait, what? The whole time going to play back, he kept yelling. But I'm, at you. I'm, I'm a stand though. And then they gonna lock up <laughs> Luke today. I just worry he's not athletic and all that. I'm like, oh, this dude. Uh, Frank said they talk about trade gaff while his value is high. Like, why are you trading oh, actual talent? Oh, wait, I, I'm done. And a player we actually need so suddenly they need their phones taken away from him like kids in school. Bro, I, I, I got to Listen, man. Listen. This is why I'm barely on Twitter, man. Because I, I can't, I can't, I can't deal with the foolishness, man. That's we stupid, never had man. a center, and now we want to trade away. We ain't never had a center ever in the history of sports, and now all of a sudden you talking about trading the guy. And he got her doing stuff that we never seen nobody in our, in our history do, other than nobody. Nobody. G two said, "I got a name, Bang Brothers." Wait, that doesn't sound right. I'll think of something. That was a uh, Dodo and uh, yeah, when they the uh the Bang Bros. Yeah, Dodo and um. What's his name? Reggie Bullock. Their yeah. name. Bang but Bang Bros. Was it Bang? No, not Bang Bros. It was Bang Bros. That's what they called themselves. They should have oh. been the locksmiths or whatever, but they didn't want to be that. They chose Bang Bros. I was like, damn, you want to choose the porn name? And they, and they did. They chose that, not us. Yeah. Uh, Gina Kim said, I saw someone reply to person who said trade Gaff. Some agreed, saying they'll only do it if we're getting Herb Jones. I'll take it to see it. I'm not trading Gaff for Herb Jones. Why? Don't why don't tag me in that, Gina. I don't want to see that stupidness, man. That's dumb. Uh, Austin says, King, damn, bro, you said the 2007 Mavs, you just opened a, uh, I guess, a, a 
a wound. Uh, thought was healed. Thank you. LOL. I'm sorry, Austin, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, what do you mean? Said we talked about we went to like it was like eight or nine or something, whatever it is. No, I said earlier the the old seven Mavs. I said um usually when you go in the playoffs, you just steam roll mm-hmm. steam or roll through whoever, unless you're the Mavs in 07 when we played that team. That one team I thought we couldn't beat. Go ahead, Ryan. I know we got super chat. Uh how you pronounce it? Uh uh Jura. Jura. Yeah, Jura with the 499. Don't know. Okay. Say thank you for doing what you do. Say both of y'all are great at this question. You think any of the nine to ten teams can win the play in or win a first round series? It was a good question. Uh, let's look at that. Let's look at that stat. Let's look at that uh standings again. Nine to ten. Yes. I think anybody in the play in the, the play in alone, the play in bracket, I guess, or brackets, I think any of them could win a series. If yeah, I don't yeah. think they're gonna be like I don't think the other team's gonna be favored by much. Yeah, I could see Sacramento upsetting somebody. Unless, well, Denver, Denver's going to be the favorite no matter who they play. But whoever's in that seventh seed, I don't see why they wouldn't have a chance. Sacramento will have to move down. Yeah, I think they can. I think Sacramento can beat Oklahoma City. Who do you think? Who do you think is best suited to play Denver first round? Who do you think will want to play Denver? How Sacramento against them? Were they trash? I don't know. Don't know. Definitely ain't Phoenix. They'll kill I, Phoenix. I don't think Golden State want to play them either. Mm. Uh, I think I, I would probably say like the Clippers or New Orleans or somebody like that. New Orleans, I would have said beforehand. I think New Orleans. Would have oh, played. he's saying because of yeah. But without Brandon Ingram, ah, New Orleans don't want to play anybody. But yeah. Uh, Richard says. Uh, Folks wound up, lol. If y'all make to here, see everyone in the morning. All right, Richard, appreciate you. Yes, we'll see you then. Ramble says, Imagine we win it all in 2024 and get stuck with kid for 10 years. Dilemma, yeah, you already know you get that. Yeah. Wouldn't you be happy to get that championship though? No, oh, I, I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie, I might be okay with the 10 years again, bro. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> I hated the 10 years for the 2011 championship, but oh. We might just got a, We might have just got that email. Oh, shout out! Shout out to Jeff. Hey, uh, Austin says y'all think Kyrie picks up his player option, or do we resign him before that? Don't see him making as much as a player op, uh, option, so I see him picking it up. Um, I think we try to extend him. I think Kyrie. I think now that Kyrie loves it here and all, Kyrie would take more of a pay cut now, and I don't mean like a dumb pay cut, but just something to. As long as you give him a couple years from the stay around and all, because he loves it in Dallas. Right. Uh, Thomas says, How about Timmy for Jonathan Isaac? I think there was talk about that uh, this offseason, but Orlando still wanted to stand by him and see if he still had it. Absolutely, if that was available. Uh, Gina Kim said, I wanted Luca to lead the league and assist too. Anything to help Luca MVP case? That narrative is already there. We've been injured, and yet we get the sixth seed in Luca with this historic season. Uh, Luke said, In Miami. Uh, mm-hmm. said, I always said this before, but I believe that Kyrie is going to go down as one of the best ball handlers in NBA hit NBA when he retires. He's a top 15 NBA player, and I stand by it. I mean, yeah, he might be he's somewhere near that now, Daniel, but he's gonna he gonna be the best ball handler ever. I'm sorry, yeah, he's probably the best. They already think that, I think. Uh Austin says, Can't rest out big guns now. This is the playoffs. Starts now. Yes, basically we're in the playoffs. Uh Gina Kim said NTM is not too much. Okay, uh, and oh, I, okay. Yes, I guess, I guess. Okay, I got you. I won't remember that, but thank you, Gina Kim. Uh, Dev says, I don't know ish about Marvel or things like this, but I know what THJ should be, the Invisible Man, and you know why. Yikes. Oh, man. Gina Kim said, I said Vegeta because he'd be, uh, what is that, Gri- Griffin uh, Cook, but he is the prince of all says, so I'll take that back, my bad. Nah, he can't be Vegeta. Vegeta, my dude, my favorite yeah, dude. Yeah, he definitely ain't Vegeta, man. Uh, uh, Pasquale says, "Raw, I watched that finale a, a second time after touting it today. Damn. They watch it again after the stream. It's all heading in the right direction, in my opinion. I'm gonna watch it." Uh, GD said, "Lads, whoever told you that mm-hmm. lie? I watched season two. They wrapped up Reach in one episode. That dude." Pretend- I didn't watch anything yet, GD. No, I don't think he. he uh, what's the name? He said that dude pretending to be Master okay, Chief okay. Like wearing his helmet is still not based on the games. Then you okay. can't take that away, though, GD. You, you already started it. They can't like say, "Well, now he never showed his face." 
<laughs> you know, be like that. That's season. Oh, oh, oh! He never takes his helmet off. <laughs> never, like Ray Mysterio, like he never took his mask off. Exactly. Uh, Jada Kim said it's hard to compare THJ to anyone because all these heroes make an impact, and that's not something he does. Seeing Mavs have him as Black Panther pissed me off. Kai is the only one close to the kid yet. I was like, man, Black Panther. No, uh, if if, if THJ is anybody, he's Krillin. Mm, gee, it's a Yamcha. Uh, Ramble said they had the new NHL statue in front of the arena. Luca will have one for sure. I hope Kyrie gets one too. Yeah, man. Shout out to Mike Madonna, man. The greatest year uh, American hockey player of all time. Ain't Wayne Gretzky. The Wayne Gretzky Canadian. I know. Yeah, Canadian. Uh, Gina Kim said, did be obsessed with Luca's body. Like, we get it. You're in love with him, but chill. He be sounding like Bron Sexuals. Hey, man. Luke, they gonna call him Lucas Sexuals? <laughs> Pause. Luke says, is it the love city or DOB city? Data move date of birth. Oh my god, y'all wow man. Uh, Martin said, I think we are one of the few teams that can beat the Nuggets, but as the previous champions, we need to respect them. So I'm hoping we avoid them in the first and second. I feel oh, you, Martin. Oh man, I got me crying, boy. Gina said, who do y'all got, Warriors or Lakers? Media been saying Suns can uh, beat the Nuggets, but in my opinion, it's the Wolves. The Nuggets struggled even without Rudy and Cat. But even last year, they said Wolves were tough. Yeah, I got I got the, the Lakers over the, over the uh, Warriors. I'm picking LeBron over uh, over Steph all the time, unless you got KD. Mm. Uh, Gina Kim said, I can see Lakers upset in OKC since they have a tough time against the Lakers. Uh, but in my opinion, OKC will be like the Kings last year. can take uh, – team like Lakers or the Warriors to seven but not win because of inexperience. I can feel that. I can feel you. Pause. I can feel that. Uh, Daniel says uh, Kyrie is a proven winner and I'm so glad that Luka has that second guy that he can trust and turn it to as well. I hope Kyrie stays here long term. True, Daniel. Uh, GD said, yeah, true. They can't go back and stop him from taking the helmet off, but you know what they could do. Stop taking the helmet off. <laughs> you know what, GD? Uh, the, to kind of piggyback what you just said, I said this the Mandalorian had a dude with no with his helmet on for three seasons. I don't know. I don't know why they would just leave this man helmet on, but it is what Bro, it why is. Why can't man. I get a why can't I get a, a dread too, man? Great question. Martin says Ray Mysterio took off his mask one time and he looks like TGK for real. Yeah. I'm, oh, Ray he Mysterio did? Back, yeah, Ray Mysterio back in WC took the mask off. He used to wear the horns and all that, man. I, and then he oh, put his I mask back on the WWE and they try to forget like it didn't happen. <laughs> Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know he took his mask off. I never seen him. It's on YouTube and all that? Yeah, it'd be on YouTube. You can look up Ray Mysterio without the mask. Uh, Pasquale said, come for the Mavs uh, fandom. Stay for the geek culture references. I love this channel. Appreciate you, uh, Pasquale. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, Dave says, Johnny, get Gina, please. LOL. Uh, Gina Kim said, I really hope we get that ring this year. I want us to three-peat. That's asking for too much, but I just want it. We bring it back to the 90s. Uh, and Frank said... Damn, Dave, the first loop, loop sexual. <laughs> but Gina Kim said, Mavericks, Rangers, and Stars win it all this year. Those for our cowgirls are going to tank like we did last year. Jeez. Yeah, man. like it might be too late. Probably already tanking. Jeez, man. You said, yeah, Gina, uh, said great show. Appreciate it. Yo. He says, real talk, though. Pablo. Pablo. Uh, man. Man, I don't. Uh, I think I think I think that's uh Photoshop CGI, bro. You on the well, no, not, not CGI. It's like you know how they, they got the cameras kind of like pointed a certain direction because like no, yeah. whenever they show him walking, they never show his full body walking. It's always bro. like but from the I knees think Pablo, up. I think it's all dude though. I think yeah, he's no, like, he's tall, he's but like they got him really tall on there. Though. Well, and no, and on in the suit, it's 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 added height to it when he's standing in the suit. Well, not even not even with the suit on, like regular, he's like out of the suit. He like he looked like super yeah. tall. Cause Cause remember that like so, but bro, I mean, six, six even, even, even the women are tall. Six four is tall in uh, Hollywood, though, bro. Yeah, I think dudes like Wesley Snipes are all like five six. Well, I think he's taller than that with the on the show. They might have them boots with the steel things on it or whatever. He's a little bit taller. Huge man, like probably like a probably like a super soldier or whatever. I, you know, I remember yeah. Lee playing uh playing saber tooth and all, and I'm like, this dude Pablo is like that dude. Yes, like he on steroids. You right, Pasquale. Dude, I did MLB PEDs. He said PEDs. Uh, great show, fellas. Uh, no clue. Gina came on one today. She's just saying words. I have no okay, clue. Okay, I'm. I'm uh, don't see the fourth C being our uh, ours, but never say never. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be difficult. 
Oh, she said getting. Okay, typo. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was better say because like, okay, yeah. Now you, now you really trying to test us now. I don't know none of that. This is a great show, guys. Let's get the forty second win against Utah and get ready for the Kings next week. We need everyone to be ready. Yeah. And GD says, King, I'm gonna check uh, in on you regularly as you watch season two. Consider it a mental uh, welfare check. So you gotta make sure you haven't lost your mind, bro. Also, Pablo uh, shredded. For, uh, for real yeah yeah yeah. i think he did that for the show too yeah i still got um i'm, I'm like five episodes behind so i got it yeah. so you told you the whole season huh yeah i was ready to get a season up i told uh, you let's see frank says uh yeah, i think mass could reach four c they four games away from the clippers and the mass been on a heater uh going 71. it depends on the clippers um, yeah we'll see that's the clippers we, we, we can win all day long but the clippers got to lose yeah uh 77 will hang in the rafters in our new stadium with 11. yeah man oh. That'd be nice. But yeah, man, listen, it's going to probably do it for us tonight, man. We definitely appreciate everybody rocking with us for another episode of We Talk Mavs, guys. Listen, man, uh, we'll be back here on, was it Tuesday? The Mavs play Utah again. Is that that right? Am I I saying that right? I think it is Tuesday. Hold up. No, it's Monday. Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Right? So I thought you said we had three. What's what's the day? It It was Thursday, right? It was Thursday, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, right? Monday, okay, 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 gotcha. Uh, so yeah, so we'll be back on Monday then after the match played the Utah Jazz in Utah. So we hope to see you guys there. Listen, man, if you guys want to become a member of the channel, just hit that join button right there next to the subscribe button, guys, and consider becoming a member of the channel and join us here on Fridays as we have our our members only shows in the friday mornings we'll definitely have one this friday because it's not a game but if there was a game on fridays we normally have our post game only pre uh shows for the members where they join us here on the stage talking all things dallas mavericks and also too man speaking of dallas mavericks y'all guys want to watch the games with your fellow glow yard members guys just follow us on playback.tv or download the playback app It's absolutely free and you can follow us on we talk mavs we have VIP passes. If you guys want to literally watch the game through the app, you guys can watch it. It's totally free. Like I said, it's, it's a cost of thing, guys. Uh, help us get to our fur. We, we made it 200 yet? Yeah. Okay. So help us get to our fur 300, I guess, guys, as we are uh, still trying to build the numbers there on playback, man. So we definitely would appreciate that. Also, too, man, like you saw a few people in here talking about, follow me on my other channel because we geeked. We definitely gonna talk about the Halo series because it ends. Uh, it's finally ended. the The season has ended. I'm guess we're gonna get ready for season three. Uh, the X Men '97 uh, show has dropped. Chef's Kiss, uh, and what was the other show that came out? We said Invincible. Yes, Invincible has also dropped too. So, the new, uh, the second half of this season of Invincible has dropped. So, so yeah, man, we're gonna probably talk about that uh, Saturday and probably some other stuff that happen to uh throughout throughout the week so you guys can follow us on because we geek that we talk about all things in the tv and movie world of the geek culture guys also too before we i turn it over to king man we got to do this real quick we got to show love to the sponsors before we continue we want to give a special shout out to fanatics for hooking the channel up with a personalized link for you guys and ladies to get all of your official nba dallas mavericks merchandise and apparel if you're interested in helping the channel at all please scan the QR code on the screen or check out the link in the description. We appreciate all of the continued support and big thanks go out to Fanatics once more for hooking us up over here at We Talk Mavs. All right, King, man, you got anything else you want to add, man? Uh, follow us on all our socials. I know I gave a few of them. Uh, we everywhere, We Talk Mavs, two uh, exclamation marks behind it. Uh, but share, share, more share, guys. A like is the equivalent of a share. Um, numbers just keep growing. Uh, more support just keeps on on its way uh appreciate you guys so much you don't understand it um and let's just keep going man mavericks winning right now it's good vibes going on i know we've been through ups and downs this whole season it's been rough at times but it's a good time right now we got playoffs coming up y'all y'all remember last time we made the playoffs how fun it was for that one so tell your friends tell your mama's friends your daddy's friends your sister's friends everybody friends to come watch we talk Mavs. we're gonna have fun y'all but other than that go mavs and we'll see y'all again that on monday and members tomorrow yes sir listen guys with all that being said man it is your boys railing king of we talk mavs where we talk dallas mavs from a fan's perspective 
we will catch you guys here on monday members in the morning guys for the members of the channel same map time same map channel go maps and we out Peace.